all right what's up everybody and good morning thank you for being patient and sorry for that sabbatical of a fucking lifetime that seemed forever to some of our fans i ain't gonna lie though one time though like the, by the time it was uh the the third or fourth day of not podcasting dog i did start to miss it but thank you so much for waiting I'm like, can they hear us are we good no they're good they're good they're good they're good yeah thank you so much for bearing with us sitting next to me is our guest that was supposed to be here last week, but we, we were not here last week, so it all worked out. But I, I, cannot, I cannot deny the fact that it's because this woman stays busy. She's out there doing things. I, I, I didn't know how much deeper it was than, uh, than her just, just, just being a photographer. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I just thought you just, you know, I'm like, no, no offense, but I was like, okay, photographer she shoots a lot of pictures for a lot of people. Yeah. But like, you're in an ad now at Foot Locker. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck? She's modeling now, too? You know what I mean? Like, I was like, you, you have that going on. You're working with different brands. And I'm just like, yo, like, you don't you do not do the influencer thing. Like, you don't fucking, like, you know, influencers, they'll tell you. I'm an influencer. Yeah. But, like, like I, what would you what would you call yourself? You're like Mini Spielberg? Well, like, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Uh, By the way, it's in Crypt, everybody. Let's clap it up. What's <laughs> up, you guys? Born and raised in Nella, Northeast LA. was good? Highland Park. Um... Now I'm doing big shit, so I got out the hood, and I'm here to inspire the fuck out of everybody. Get the fuck out the hood, get off the couch, get off all your mama's house and shit. Like it's time to like, there's so much more out there than the hood, you know. So that's my like whole like <coughs> mo is to like get everything out of bed, <coughs> start doing shit, you know. But yeah, what's up? Thanks you, for having you, me. You know, I'm I'm glad I'm glad to have you in here because <coughs> you um. <coughs> You you said that shit like like really raw like you said it you're like you know what I'm from what is it Nella, Nella. Nor Northeast LA and you know like for a while like when 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 I first met you and you know I met I met you through Reverie. Call it that if you live there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Like, like, I, I feel like if I said that and she looked at me, she's like, "You ain't live there, homie." That's terminology that like <laughs> that's like if, if people are like, "Where you from?" Like I'm from South Central. Like you know what I mean? It's like yeah, bro. Like it's, what streets are you talking about? I walk that shit. You know. Yep. So it's like, and then you, I, like, with the first time I met you, I believe uh, it was through Reverie, and it was a different phase in her career. And uh, you were kind of like, not I want to say starting out, but not where you were at right there. And like you would still be posted up at home. Yep. You know what I mean? And I like, I'm one of those people that I appreciate that so fucking much because when you're in the limelight or you or you, you're next to some like next to somebody and you're working with somebody in the limelight, everybody has this perception and they think that everybody's already made it. Yeah. And they forget that, like, the team is out there. There's still a photographer. There's still an assistant. There's still people that have to get paid. There's people that's interning and all this shit. And nobody really ever seems to focus on that journey right away. But you okay. see it uh, desarrollar. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you see it, like, unfold this in unfold in front, of, in front of you. And mm -hmm. yeah, I, I feel that you, yourself, like, yourself and, and your, what you've been through from my, uh, you know, from observing it from my point of view, like, you're living proof of that because... Like, yo, I, like, from the beginning, I remember seeing those videos, and now you could, like, yo, penthouse shit. I was like, yo, that's right. Fucking get that shit. You know what I'm no. saying? No, yeah, what's funny is, like, uh, he was like, oh, we're going to have homegrown. And I, I didn't know who you were, because usually he just says, hey, we're going to have her on. Yeah. I clicked on your profile, and I was like, wait up. We're going to have Becky G on? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo, she's fine. I'm about to go get a haircut. You're really pretty. But I saw Becky G, and I was like... Let me That's know, bro. That's but how yeah, toxic you, yeah. he is. You see that? He's like, <laughs> he's like <laughs> you know, it's so funny. You look at my profile. It's like a hella. Like people will never guess who who's the one. Yeah, you had Felipe. That's when I knew you were a photographer. You had Felipe on yeah. there. I was like, oh, I know yeah. Felipe. That's You're the like, homie. Becky G shoots. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. But yeah, it was funny because I was like, I was like, obviously you're taking pictures of dope ass people. So congrats. But Thank yeah, you, instantly I was like, Becky G. <laughs> that shit's so funny. Hey, shout out to Becky G though. Yes. Working with her and her team, they're fucking dope. And she's on Inglewood. She's LA as fuck as well. Is she? Is, <coughs> is, yeah. is her, do you know you know her cousin too? <coughs> no, I don't know her cousin. No, I, I, I believe I, I knew her cousin. I worked with her cousin for a while. He was a photographer for Young and Reckless. <laughs> uh -huh. And I remember when she was burly, like, she's like not even like not even two thousand followers. She's like, this is my little cousin and shut that. And I was like, what the fuck? I was, and, and I was like, I remember looking at that over a year. And now, bro, I can't see a fucking Roku commercial without her in there. Yeah. Hola, amigos. I'm just like, yeah. like, yeah. Shut up, man. She's you brought that crazy. up. Day I was driving and I, I was listening to Power. Uh, oh, here we go. Ninety six point three. No, 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 no. And have you heard the new commercial? They're like, "Hola, the Latino community. We got this new app for you called Chispa. No. For all you single Latinos out oh, there, yeah, yeah like Chispa. Like, no, Chispa's got a commercial for the Latinos now. I didn't. First of all, I didn't, dog, it's like I didn't even know about Chispa. Is that like what the Latino version of eHarmony or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called Chispa, and you, you like, fool, if you got papers on there, you, you, you. you 
you like an elite. There's a lot of paisas on there. Oh, is that the like, WhatsApp of dating? Yeah. Yeah, damn. Fool. Like all the paisas go on cheese spa. Like my dad probably has a cheese spa. It's per, hey, it's per, <laughs> hey. How, why do I feel like Predict has two profiles on there? It's like, como esta chiquita? Porte se bien. Porte se bien. You know, if you're an LA kid, you're like yeah. elite. Right you're like elite. That, app. What do you think of that term when somebody hits you up like that? that like, that, that's a very old ass fool way of hitting somebody up when they call you chiquita, huh? Yeah, chiquita. Or yeah. Chiqui baby. Oh my God. No, How often do you get this one? Oh, I fuck no. Those are on the I feel street. like you're soccer. Oh, dog, construction yeah. Construction sites. That's by like the fucking Marisco spa. You feel me? Like Marisco I'm shit good. for sure. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm good on that. And then they pretend they didn't do it. That's the, that's the, I hate that part. Like, like hey, and you're like, the fuck and they're like, oh, uh, that's a great meal I'm having. <laughs> like, bitch, you just literally ch ch me. Like, hey, fucking care. Mexican holler. Paisas fucking swear that fucking mariscos is like Viagra, Viagra to them, huh? Oh, mariscos. Yeah, is they, they call it an aphrodisiac. Yeah, that's but like, I mean, I love oysters are. I love mariscos too, and I've eaten oysters, but like, you know, I've taken blue chew too. You know what I mean? We've been sponsored by them too, and it's not an aphrodisiac. An aphrodisiac is fucking. So when they say chocolate's an aphrodisiac. Yeah, but you know how much chocolate you have to eat for you to be for that considered like for it to make like you nuts? Pure cocoa, though. I'm sure. No, not, for, like, like I'll, I'll look Hershey's, it up right now. This is a different type of. Cocoa. No, like, I'll, I'll look it up right candy, now. Seeds candy, dog. You no. need some seeds candy up in that bitch to get that. <laughs> not the seeds. You, you would die of diabetes <laughs> before oh, you I, nut. I was about to say that I think it's dark chocolate. It can be milk. Yeah. That's like supposedly like a thing. All right. It has to be yeah. Right. Yeah. That's what yeah. I heard. But and you know, but you know, the really high percentages will kill pets too. So you can't have that shit yeah. on your dogs. Or yeah. Especially, man, you know what, though, man? Like, I've noticed, man, like, shelter pets. Like, I've only had, like, shelter pets and adopted pets. Like, I feel it's only, like, purebred dogs that be doing some dumb ass shit like that, bro. Like, I left the avocado in front of my dog because the seat kills him. That motherfucker, yeah. The, oh, it's because they choke No, no, no. The seat, there's, there's toxins in the seat oh, really? that'll fucking wipe that fool out. So it's not good to give them. You can give them avocado, but you're Just still taking a risk. Yeah, but you're still taking a risk because the residue might be there, but... I left, I left avocado, I left medicated chocolates in places where they could have got it. And I've seen my dog go up and be like, that shit smells like death. I'm good. You know what I mean? Like, and you've like, had I, any of your dogs eat, eat none of your edibles? I can see I can see a Frenchie just go, oh, look. Oh, my dog, my <laughs> you know dog what ate, I mean? My dog ate one of my chocolates, bro. This fool shit himself because he was so high. Oh, I feel I feel so when bad. That yeah, I called my vet and my I vet. I cried when that happened. Uh, yeah, and I called my vet. Did you cry too? Like, what happened? I told him. What <laughs> it was sad, but I called the vet. I'm like, told him, you gotta be honest. You know, yeah. you can't sit there and be like, I don't know what's wrong with them. I'm like, hey, he hates metabols. What should I do? He's like, how much? I was like, a lot. He's like, he, I die. No, he was yeah. like, he no, he was like just like anybody else, just waited out. Who was like, he pissed himself. No se podía mover. He was well, so that, high. I that, felt so bad for him. That has like, happened though. Yeah. Like. But I've done it like I wouldn't say it wasn't like Bam Bam is an old dog. So like one time I had to give my I had to treat my dog with CBD so that fool would stop fucking scratching this cut. Otherwise he would just keep going so that shit would like chill him out. And one time I got the fucking THC and CBD mix. You know what I mean? It was like half and half. Fool, I just fucking gave that shit. I was like, here, fool, fucking chill the, the fuck out. Or yeah, the what? tincture, but they have a half and half mix where it's like okay, half CBD yeah, and half THC. It. It's like you know for the people they want want to be in the media. Oh, no, agua. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, something like that. So I gave that shit to my dog because it, it's if it's a non grape or it's a grapeseed oil or something like that, it's good for them. Are they able to take it? So I gave it to that fool, and I didn't realize that I had got in the one that was half and half. So I just not I noticed when this fool was just walking like. Like, I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with this food, dog? And then when I pick them up, you know, with two hands, their hands are like this, <laughs> yeah. and the tongue is out, bro. The that, fuck? They, they become like fucking noodles, like jello. I cried. I don't give a fuck. I see my dog high and I cried. I felt so horrible. That's fucked up. That, it's that, like that fool was shaking and shit. I'm like, no, don't. That die. shit makes you feel some type of way, dog. Like, especially like That's if you. my baby and shit. Like, fool, uh, fool, you'll feel some type of way. Like, because I know what you mean. If you get attached to your dog, like, you'll feel some type of way. Like, if you have a female dog and you see you see the dog get fucked, you're like, stop fucking my dog. <laughs> like, oh, you seen that? <laughs> huh? You seen that? Because I've never had a female dog, honestly, so I don't know that feeling. But I, when I was when little, I when I was going, I'm like, echa se la to... dale, compa. <laughs> wow. Damn. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm like, fuck you're cheering on fucking dogs. I know you've seen me do it. I know you've seen me do it. So. <laughs> Show the technique, homie. That's so funny. That's where I learned. El papa. That was real doggy style training. <laughs> But you see yeah. your dog get fucked? Because I know you had a female I, dog. No, well, when I was little, dog, not to quote Tommy, I remember <laughs> seeing that shit, dog. And I remember I was like, no, get her off her. Like, because I, 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 I love yeah, my, my golden retriever. I was like, no, it's my dog. Like, what the fuck? But you know, you're like, I don't know. I think it's just human nature when you're attached to something like that, bro. Like, if, you, if you've ever had a single mom and then they bring a boyfriend over and you're young, 
Oh, dog. You're staring at that. You're fuck. You wish you could fuck that fool up, dog. I'm gonna put the mic a little bit closer. Yeah. Any any chance you get, you fuck with the shit. No, it was not that. You don't. You're not. Unless I feel like you gotta be a silver tooth kid to strike first. You know what I mean? Like I'm only gonna strike first or do something if I see you fucking with my mom. mom. Not literally fucking her, but like. Like my mom's not triste, que she's this way, you know what I mean? But yeah. yeah, dog, like that, I would, I would trip out like that. I remember the first time, I mean, it happened later in my life, but I just remember I was like, what the fuck? Why am I angry with this fool? I don't even know him. It, you happens, know? it you happens to girls too. I remember I used to see my mom bring foods, and I used to pretend like I had a, like a toothache or a heart attack or like. What? <laughs> hold on, hold on. I remember one time I was crying, and then I was like, I can't breathe. And <laughs> she's like, You can breathe. I'm like, I can't breathe, mom. I don't want them here. How old? How old? <laughs> I was probably like like seven or eight. Okay, and okay. I still remember like vividly like her being like, Ya empezaste con tus chingadas de vuelta, Rocio. And I'm like, what? I don't like him for you. And she's like, I knew what's, it. What's your I real name? Ros- Rocio. Rocio? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's my mom's name too. I'm named after her. Oh, damn. Yeah. Is, does it apply for females when are they juniors? No, <laughs> no, no, I, I don't no talk about it. It's so sexist. They don't have shit for girls. <laughs> Nothing like if you were named after Number your mom. Number two? Like, <laughs> like, I, used to, I used to say junior. You know, junior. junior. Yeah, junior. 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 <laughs> yeah. Junior. I don't know. I don't. Yeah, I never thought about that because female junior. Look I, up. Look up female junior. I've had a. Same. I've had I'm cousins curious. that is like my my aunt was Jennifer, and then my cousins say I'm a Jennifer to men, and then like, oh, and they'll call me be like, oh, Dila Edgar Junior. You know what I mean? Like it's Junior. You yeah. know what I mean? Because that's my dad's name too. And I'm just and I'm just like, what the fuck, bro? Like, like I'm like, how come they don't call you that? I remember I would, I would ask her like, how come they don't call you that? that sounds weird, Alejandro Junior. Yeah, no, I don't. I wouldn't like. Yeah, that. it sounds weird. It sounds it's, weird. It's, it's I'm not makes, down with yeah. the senior part. No, but um, uh, do you ever remember in high school or whatever when someone, when someone's mom was kind of like the slut? Oh look! And someone called her a slut and they threw it down. You don't remember that? He's <laughs> breaking like news. Breaking news. There is one. I bet you. It yeah. says the um, to quote Google: the female equivalent of junior is junior. <laughs> it is not used as often as it is with the male children. Oh shit! The most famous example I can think of offhand is the American socialite and actress Cobina Wright Junior. That sounds pretty. That sounds cool. like equality. Yeah, the female equivalent of junior is junior. I'm my jun- fucking name. I'm going to be a junior. After today, y'all have to call me junior. That is fucking wild. I didn't know that. You remember that? I feel like my tomboy homegirls would be like, yeah, call me junior. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, we just changed everyone's <laughs> yeah. life today. They probably yeah. were juniors, though. How do you know what? That would be like a great way, bro. Like, just, you know, like, it, to identify it, like, it'd be, it'd be one way. It'd be like, nah, man, you go, you're going to call me junior, and then you know not to hit on that girl. You know what I mean? Like, that's just... <laughs> Like that would be that would be the one the one thing be like bro she told that's like it the better. equivalent of her telling you to call you bro. Well, you don't remember girls that had like boyish names like there was some girl named Johnny, at my school. Francisca. Tony. No. Well, my best there was friend, a girl named Tony. Jordan. I have a friend named Danny. Danny. Danny's cool though. That is like not D- bad. Like D A N. That could be that that could be Daniel though. You know what I mean? Like how yeah. Daniel. You know. I, what I, mean? I feel no. like usually they say Danny. No, like if it's a girl's I E. Like government. Danny. And Johnny. Oh. And it was weird because you know. Your homie's dating Johnny. You're like, what's up? What's up with you and Johnny? How are you and your boyfriend? Como, está, doing? como estas tu y Jaime? Exactly. Oh, I mean Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> Yo. He was, he was yeah, bro. Ryan. You know high yeah. school dog. You just roast for whatever reason. That, that was fucked. Hey, that be fine as fuck. That's like, just traumatizing, bro. When yeah. you get fucking roasted in high school, like I, I feel bad for the like. There was homies that I picked on, dog. Sorry. Not like not picked on horribly, but like just how I pick on Cairo. Yeah. Just constantly just just yeah. roasting these fools. You just and missed I, it. I still tapped in with these fools later and like. One of these fools, he's fucking buff, right? Like he's fucking huge, right? And I'm just like, I, I thank God this fool has a girlfriend. If he didn't have a girlfriend, he would probably be a very violent person out for vengeance. Talk about I got ease on him about this. Remember that time, dog, or those multiple times. I was saying, <laughs> you, I, you missed it, but do you remember or were you there when like someone called someone's mom a whore in high school because she was because she was a single mom and she always had a different dad or a different dude coming around? Well, this fool beat the motherfucker up. He called his mom a slut. And we didn't expect this fool to go hit him. Because, you know, you, you it's the guy that always gets roasted. I mean, I ain't going to lie. And, Somebody and, did that and to he me. earned it. No one even touched. She's like, you called this mom a whore, dude. But it was at high school But stuff, he meant it, was, though, right? Bro. Yeah, but that mom was being a little whore. Like, okay, what yeah. do you, hold on. How do you know? Did she suck your dick? No, yeah, you would no, always see like, her. Like, like, you would always see her at the star games with a different dude. Oh, okay. Oh, damn. So this guy was like, oh, yeah, they, they, yeah, yeah. Like, these fools went at it. Yeah, these guys going to be the the best. Yeah, the these fools went. Yeah, yeah, these fools went at it at one point, and then yeah. you know he went to the the low blow, and he's like, anyways, at least my mom don't come with other fools to the game all the time, oh. and it went off, dude. He le metió una santa putiza, the dude. 
That was that, it knockout? Yeah, we just we just watched it. even like No, he knocked him out. Like oh no, damn. No, no, it was a couple blows. It okay. went to the floor, but okay. you know who was winning yeah. on top hitting him? Got a free show. Yeah, and Class. we were back there watching. I was like, you kind of deserved it, bro. Cause the second he said it, we all went, oh. Those are the best because they, yeah. they go ham. I feel like teenagers when they fight, they just die, like they fight. It's everything. It's everything. It's, it's death. everything, like, everything, it's comes, everything but... that it's not even about the fight anymore. When teenagers get down that angry and you're that last drop in the You're like cup. my mom didn't. Yeah, like you mentioned, that. my mom. This is for everything. This is for my dad hitting me when I was twelve. This is for fucking when I got called yeah. fat when I was fifteen. He's treating you like the boyfriend, like her boyfriend. Yeah, they whole day. I'm like, wait, what he's hearing that? Yeah, it, it's it's fucked up. This is for how my boyfriend hits me. No. I didn't give a fuck. When I was a teen, I would like do it. I was like, I'm not gonna go to jail. If I go to jail, I'm gonna go just go to juvie. Fuck juvie. Juvie's not a big deal. So everything chicks would go. Down. I remember yeah. watching. Yeah, hey, I don't know. I heard juvie's like way crazier than fucking going to county. Oh. From what I heard, yeah, from what I heard, like what did George say? And he's, he's been he's a YA baby. Oh. I, I've been to juvie. That fool says it like he's a university, huh? He's like, I'm a YA baby. I'm like, fool, it's like, it's, it, what does it call it? <laughs> I first thing didn't know, and I thought he was meant YMCA, yeah, and the, I was like, whoa. Yeah, I was like, is there a after school program? Is there a jacket for this shit? That's just hilarious. But that's a real term. That, like, yeah, like, he's like, hey, are baby. you a white baby, and, homie? Like, I'm mean, like, you've been locked up for since you were a kid. Yeah, that's fucked. What that do you shit, call that shit? Yo, that shit does other shit to you, though, for sure. Being locked up. I think it's it's. Like I think it's probably a lot harder, man, because not harder. Like, you know, it's harder in its own way because you're still developing as a, as 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 um as a young individual. And you got all these motherfuckers with hormones that you don't have when you're an adult. Yeah, those hormones tone the fuck down. So. I remember there was times, bro, like, you, there's a reason they don't let you drink when you're underage or they don't let you do that because that shit fucks with your hormones and you make horrible decisions if you're fueled yep. on rage, your brain's not anger. You know 100%. how many fools? I fucked up my brain for sure. You know why there's a lot of fools, that, younger fools, the ODing out there? They got more access to it, bro. You know how I never thought about fucking doing that much Look, drugs? Did you hear about that kid that died on fentanyl? No, no, no I'm, not saying, I'm not saying that. Let me, let me finish. What I'm saying is there's a lot more younger fools out there that it's easier for them to get drugs. And, like, if you're angry one day over a breakup, fools will fucking be like, I listen to a little peep. Now I'm going to die, too. You know what yeah, I mean? Because your, your emotions like are very, shit. your emotions yeah. are up there, bro. Your hormones are through the roof. And a lot of parents don't understand that. Especially, I'm telling you this because... I mean, I've been through it being younger, you know what I mean? Whereas you're like, damn, I thank God I didn't really try drugs till I got of age to know what I was doing. You know what I mean? Or like I really, I, I started experimenting when I had, I didn't, I didn't get pushed to that, to that level. And there was people that I saw and I'm like, damn fool, like, why are you doing coke at fucking 17? But you know what? It, it, I, I have something to say about that. A lot of people will contradict and say it was a bad thing because you're not fully developed. But honestly, I stopped doing drugs like as an adult. I fucking started at 13. I was doing meth. I was doing fucking crack. I was cooking crack. I was having fucking. Damn, you did grow up in that like, part of LA. I, no, I literally, I'm <laughs> from the hood. Like I, I was homeless, bro. I used to fucking slang. Like I used to, you know, crew bang. Like I did all of it. You Is know? that crew bang, tagging bang? Yeah, tag banging. All my homies are all from the hoods now. Like all of them. Damn. And, like or dead or like overdose or something happened to them. You know? That's just more often now than than than, than like before, huh? Yep. Who's ODing and shit? It shit's crazy. Before I feel like that, we, we built a different tolerance because the fucking shit wasn't as laced as it is now. <laughs> People are just dying quicker of everything right now. Like fucking fentanyl getting put on weed. Like what the fuck? No, but no one's really ODing. Do you remember? To me, an OD with up. No one's really ODing. To me, an OD is when you do a lot. Something. Yeah, they do. Yeah. There's pe there is people ODing. Yeah, but you there's also to, people that are doing a very little bit of coke that's laced with fentanyl and you're dying. They're not yeah. even still overdosing on like, a drug though. Like that's back then, like two years ago, if you told me he's on OD, I'm like, how much? And yeah. Was, this was a chingo on ounce and eight by himself, right? Now it's his just heart like, exploded. Now I'm just, yeah. Yeah, now I'm just like, oh, oh that shit was laced. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. that shit was laced. So I think there, it's still ODing, but to me, it's more of a poisoning. That's crazy. I, I, get, I get what you mean. It's a poisoning. Because no one's ODing. ODing means, hey, stay away and drive out. Loco for and three that's days. That's what fentanyl does to you. Fentanyl you need a is poisoning. Yeah. It's a poison. And I sure. mean, I tell people. It, well, dude, so fentanyl is like, it's, it's, it's like, it, from what I, I don't understand exactly what it is, but that shit, the way you describe it, it hits you like what they, when they put a dog down, like that, how that yeah. shit shuts your heart down. That's what that shit does to you in a yeah. matter of seconds. So like, so te fun. sientes bien chingón, dog. You feel you're you're like, yeah, world, you're like, man. hell yeah. But yeah. that's what I imagine when they give the dog the shot and they put him down, dog. I just listened to like George Lopez's fucking podcast. That, oh my God. Hi. <laughs> what is it? Uh, his fucking podcast. And they talked about this for like an hour. And I was like, stop talking about this. I don't want to cry on the treadmill. He's talking about putting his dog down. And I'm just like, but he described the process. And I'm just like, I'm like, damn, that really is what it's like. I've been through that process so before fun. so many times. But it's kind of peaceful, dog. Like, in the same time, like, I mean, when you're putting, some, when you're putting, like, you know, if your dog has cancer and you, está sufriendo, like, you have to do that to your dog. Okay, cool. Like, that's a cool way of really going out instead of just, you know, putazo. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. 
Because you're being sedated and you're like, you know what, dude, this might okay, be it. I, and I'm going to play not devil's eye, but I'm going to be the typical asshole. What's the price range on letting your dog go to on putting him down? Uh, um, 20 grand, 10 grand. What do you mean? No, you're stupid. Like, no, it's no, just no, I would no, never no. do it. No, that's Period. what I'm telling you. Like, I wouldn't well, you just put it on the credit card or like, what are the chances? Because, dude, I've known no, people it, that drop like, third, like 30 grand and the perro se murió. Yeah. Oh, three weeks later. Like, and you're just like, here's the you thing, feel bro, bad like, and you know that's what it had to be done, but it's still like... I've I've had I, I've had do- I've had dogs on my life and and I've ha- I've dealt with this bro and I I here's the thing that I'll tell people for advice dog I love dogs is I have do- I have dogs and a cat now so it's like you know they they live together but the one thing I was gonna say is to people out there that you're, if you're a pet owner I'm gonna tell you this straight up you have to build a relationship with your vet for him to tell you la verdad because I I went to so many vets that fucking would lie to me. Just so I could keep coming back, and then now I have a vet that tells me like, "Hey, I was about to say that shit. I'm gonna keep it one thousand yeah. with you. Like, this was not gonna make it, dog. Like, this is yeah. the equivalent of your dog of you having cancer, and you're <clears throat> fucking going for it. Hey, you don't want you don't want to do this. And I respect that a lot more than somebody charging me because I would rather get that truth and process it as a human being than for me to believe a lie. Because the reason we're, a lot of problem? us are all fucked up, bro, is because we believe somebody's lie somewhere they're, down the line or not. Say you has, the dog has this and this and that, put him through surgery for no fucking reason. I've heard about that shit. No, yeah, it's real like, shit. Like, they're like, oh, your dog has this, so now he has to come back in and they do some shit that you're like, what the fuck? I didn't even know. Yeah. Like, if you tell me he's going to live, yeah. by all means, pay for it. But if we're looking at 50 50 and yeah. 20,000, you better know how to be bien, you know how to come in. Yeah, but yeah, like, gonna have a if he tells like, you 50 oh. 50 and then you're, and he knows that it's 98% that he's going to die, there's people out there that are being got like that. So that's what I'm telling you. Yeah, so you have to be able able to build that relationship like just else. how you do with, with your dentist with, like, with no dentist, with your dentist you with yeah. your doctor yeah. with yeah. everything yeah. same shit when you get your nails done you're cutting the size of yeah. my like, dad always asks me why yeah. I go to the if, same barber reason. if i go to the doctor bro and i'm like hey you remember last time you looked at my balls be like do they look the same you know what i mean <laughs> like does, does it look like it? what yeah. do you have a lump yeah. there you, you know what i mean yeah, you can't go in there and be like <laughs> like i don't want to feel like a stranger every time yeah you're gonna look at you be like yo they look know them you know them it's my first time i've seen them Bro, like, they might be in childhood. Imagine, you don't know that. Imagine that's like that, but like uh, it's like a reason, like for females, bro, gynecologists, bro. Like imagine when you gotta shop around for one of those foods. Like you're not gonna go ahead and be well, like, I, I went on twenty girls. gynecologists. Food. Every one of those foods has to check you I out, bro. You're not gonna girls. do that. Huh? I think they get girls. I don't mm. even know why it's called a gynecologist. I, I know there's dudes, there's but I, dudes. I know there is. But to me, as a gr- like you, you got a dude. Is your gynecologist a dude? It's a girl. Yeah, I but think it I sounds chose. normal. I chose. You should. Yeah, you, yeah. you have to, bro. Choose, like, I think most girls would choose a girl. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. yeah. I would so, choose it, a girl to be looking at my balls. You know who's like, a... Where she's hot. <laughs> you know who's... <laughs> They'd be like, damn. I'm like, fuck. Today's, I'm so, not, today's not my day. Yes, today it's I'm fucking... It's cold in here. Yes. It's cold oh, in here. I'm going to tell him to, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna tell, turn off the temperature. Hey, no, when I walk in there, Xavier would cold. take a Bluetooth uh, before the doctor appointment. He'd be like, it's just like that all the time. Snow me, you're toxic as you would. <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm being honest. Yeah, That's yeah, why I wouldn't yeah. want a chick. Imagine if the nurse is hot too. You can't be like anywhere else though. Hot chicks is one. When I was younger, bro, there was like, something like that happened one time. I had I, I I thought I was gonna get a physical with my regular doctor, and then this doctor came in, dog, and she had like the biggest tits, and I was just like, what the fuck? Like I was just like, how old are you? <laughs> and and you were at that age where you could I was, get a hard. It was a physical for a soccer team. So you know what I mean? So like I'm like I'm like 16 and shit, and I'm just like what the fuck? And I'm just I'm trying to fight it off because you know you have those hormones yeah. and you're just like, why is she allowed to wear that to work? Like, <laughs> like you should have a dress code. Yeah, she should have wow. this whole white gown wow. on. What the fuck? Why is it all open right here? This is this is this is not comfortable. I came here with my mom. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah, that's just so com- so uncomfortable, bro. Hey, bro, you go through a lot of uncomfortable shit when you're younger, bro. Yeah. You put up with a lot of shit too, and then. You ever find yourself remembering certain shit and then you don't understand, like, why the fuck do I remember that moment? But then you, like, when you kind of realize it, you're like, that's some kind of trauma, dog. And that's and it's <laughs> fucking, it's fucking up whatever the fuck you're doing right now. It's for sure trauma, no matter what. You, I mean, sometimes it doesn't have to be fucking up what you're doing right now. Like, I remember there's some memories when I was in kindergarten. And I'm just like, why do I remember playing with this girl? You know what I mean? Like I remember, like that. Random, yeah, like, just randomly, like, like wholesome, I, beautiful yeah, shit. it's like I remember. Remember that tricycle ride? Like why? Like like why? Remember how badass that well, felt? It's, it's every, opposite of a trauma. Then everyone remembers like know? their first crash. 
Yeah, car accident for yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> they crash you, fool. <laughs> nah, but for real, the first one, like my the first, first one, soda, like the first one, I think she was like in like first or kindergarten. You still I follow her, huh? Followed, uh, she found me on Instagram. But she no! Like and shit, but That's I was the worst like, when they like, come and hunt you down. I'm like, just like, I'm back like, then, you know all what? I was like, all I told myself, I was like, man. Good job. I still knew how to pick them back then. <laughs> this bitch is still fine to this day. <laughs> The worst is when they're not what they look like, what they used yeah, to Yeah, you were like, damn, way. I could have ended up with that. Yeah that, yeah, that happened to me recently. I saw somebody stalking me on Instagram. Yeah. I, was like, I was like, what the fuck is this? And you and knew that fool? Or, or, or yeah, the person? Yeah, I dated him. Yeah, I dated him when I was him. like in middle school. And like, yeah, I dated him for like six months or something like that in middle school. Anyways, AK, dude's huge now. Like, he looks like fat? nut. Yeah, huge. Ooh. Big beard doesn't even look like him. I just knew because the name was there. He didn't. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't have the like, balls to follow you, as in like, this is who I am now. No, I. I a lot of people just follow me, but then they won't hit me up. I blocked those people, yeah. like for real. I they, just tripped out. I was like, what the fuck? That's crazy. Like yeah. never in a million years. He, was he didn't talk cool to you. Guy. Like no, he didn't DM you. It was like, no, hey, what's up? Like, this he's is just me. Liking my shit because I randomly like what I do. Like especially someone watches my story. If I went to Foot Locker, he saw your ad. I go random people and I just go and click on their shit and like all their stuff and. Like, I, I was appreciation. Like, no, yeah, like, yeah, following. yeah. And they love yeah. that shit because I do that shit to them. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. They, so I just randomly yeah. pick people. And then it doesn't like, count when you do it to Instagram models, Xavier. He's like, I just appreciate <laughs> I do it all the time. They never appreciate it, I'll be honest. It's they it's never it's do it. Network. Yeah, yeah. for real. It's like, a, it's like, a, it's like another all fucking like, like, nada. <laughs> Yeah, and Xavier's like, I've liked all the pictures down to their first one. I didn't even get a reaction. Or haven't they DM me yet? And that, no, those are the creeps, though. They're weird when people just like, 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 and they don't approach you or they don't say nothing. Or sometimes I do feel like some people watch me for a little bit just to get a feel of who you are. Then they'll reach out and work with you, you know? I yeah, have I've seen that happen before. Yeah, right? They just yeah. want to see what kind of, like... Or if I really fuck you know, with them, yeah, and if I really fuck with them, not, like, even, like, on no homo shit, like, I'll go on, like, all their first pictures just so they stay on my algorithm. Yeah, or, sometimes I'm like, I or they'll stay. Like yeah, they'll stay. Yeah. They'll stay on the top. Like I'll if you just follow them ah. and you just like all their shit, it'll stay in your top. Yeah, right there. Instagram will be a little bitch, and sometimes I'm like, yo, that's my homie. I haven't seen him post like three of his gear. Like I would love oh, to show shit. support. I didn't think about so I'll go that. back and I'll mind. just hit and like and be like, put them back in my fucking algorithm. algorithm. Yeah, because they're not oh. doing by. Uh, it used to be like how you posted. Now yeah. it's like like whoever posted at whatever time. Yeah, now it's like we give you what we want to give you. You know, you know, I'm about to. That should just change. Yeah, so whenever you see someone, all my homies DM me. I'm about to like all your shit. Yeah, you know. Was, she, it's a trip that she said she's like you never sometimes people will, will watch you i don't know i don't know this was a while ago dog and i was i was like fucking just getting high on the high and hungry page and i know i i was it was before i watched shark tank and i didn't know damon they, damon was affiliated with it and then fubu came into the live chat dog i made a big deal out of it i was flipping out i was like no fucking way the fat albert flu like hey, fubu or whatever <laughs> And then it was like, and I was tripping. I was like, damn, what if they could have been watching for the designs? And here I am, just in this smoke sesh. It was like the whole yeah. car was yeah. boxed. You couldn't even see me. <laughs> You're like, like fuck. Yeah, I went like this. I was like, is that Fubu? <laughs> like, <laughs> like I was just like, man. But then, I, then I was like, fool, you cannot go live on that page. <laughs> like doing your own personal shit. Yeah, that people shit is... are watching you on social media, especially if they want to work with you. Everybody be aware of that shit. Since How... I, I feel like. I have to be on my best behavior sometimes, but then sometimes I don't give a fuck. Like, just don't give me any drinks. This is why we don't see, get sponsors. You hear this, puto? Oh, see, and that, no, but that's the reason you need a whole nother page, like my new page on Instagram called XG Rated. Oh, to I get flagged? What, because you got the other one deleted? Yeah, I like, no. I'm like posting crazy shit on the uh, daily, and, we, and I got one of our pages flagged, and I'm like, no, I'm like keeping my page no. professional as me. Not yeah. flagged. Deleted. deleted our podcast Maybe page. You yeah, too. I got mine deleted too. But you know what? In a way, in a way, in a way, that shit was a long time coming because Be Real put me up on game. Shout out to Be Real. He's like, let me see your account status, son. And then I like, and then he you was like, a bunch of flags? oh my god, like they had been getting me when I'm writing shit back. Well, fuck you, you bitch. Like just fucking writing like f word back when f word was kind of cool. Well, that's because people fucking flag you. So like they see it. or or like just arguing with people, and then some other people will flag me, and I'm like, no way, this shit. Mostly it was flags from like 2014, all this old shit. And I understand why a lot of people. Um, like, they, they delete a lot of their old shit, and they keep it very limited because sometimes that shit might get you in trouble depending on the updates on Instagram. Look but at Rogan. It sucks because I, I, I had curated those 40K followers, but, you know, my new ones was, my new ones is almost there. Just let me hit 10K, and I'll be all right. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, that's how it works. I don't know. It, it's, a, it's a thin line. I used yeah. to be able to talk shit. I would talk a bunch of shit oh. on my Instagram. And then I realized, like, oh, no one's really, like, <laughs> it's, it's getting that attention from everybody, but what the fuck? Like, I, I'm trying to get paid. 
Yeah. You know, so I got I gotta like remember to be conscious. Like I have, like, I count my opinions and so what I was. Oh yeah, about. like. If, but like I have to be more sensible and shit because people are like tight right now. Like. Doesn't that make you appreciate like kickback moments where yeah. you could actually like be, be like yeah be yourself be, because like, be able to talk shit without anyone getting butt hurt. I'm, you can talk about current events, past events without feeling like you're being irrelevant and sensitive. You know, fucking. Uh, I'm kind of scared butt. of that. Like you know, what I mean, yeah. I'm kind of like that's the real, like our format here is there's not really. I mean, there's there is something that we we like you know we can't do that, but our show specifically like it, we always like to curate that and sometimes especially in this in this day and age. <clears throat> that's not really cool because somebody's always gonna have something about this shit. Like I'll be like, "Hey man, I like would be like I like the dinosaurs are very mas- uh, masculine and they fucking attack whatever they want." Somebody might be like, "What about the fucking gay dinosaurs?" You know what I mean? Like, they fucking yeah, make what the about whole the gay dinosaurs, yeah, they fucking make some fucking big up like, bro, like come on, dude, I can't talk about regular shit. Is there a gay dinosaur? No, there is not. I mean, even uh, if Barney, they, uh, they laid Barney, eggs. Barney, Barney's, Barney's pretty gay. Yeah, Barney's, Barney's a gay guy. Didn't he have the homegirl? Or was it the, the bebop? Oh, oh, okay, I didn't you know think right. he was piping that? They're dinosaurs. They had to lay eggs, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, she I, was the I only understand. female. That, that shit is so fucked. But you have to be more like, you know, and that and then also taught me a bunch of shit that I was kind of disrespectful to or not very attentive to that I, now I respect a lot more, you know? Even me being gay, it's like a... A thing that I have to recognize before I didn't see myself outside of, you know, I'm bisexual. So I always saw outside my, like, as like, I would see myself outside being like, okay, am I gay? Am I straight? Um, I don't fit in in any of the, any of the fucking worlds. If I'm fucking straight, oh, but you like girls and they sexualize the fuck out of it and it's weird and I hate it. That's why I hate machista dudes. Like, as soon as they find out I'm bi, it's like, she hate you, oh, Gabriel. what's good? Like, what's popping? Let's, <laughs> let's, uh, you know, tell you some. Like, bro, no one fucking likes you. Relax. Like, I got a type. You feel me? Like, same thing with girls. They're like, oh, you're gay. They mu- you must like me. Like, bitch, I got a fucking type. Like, relax. No one wants you. <laughs> you know, like, it's it's a, it's a weird thing. So I feel like I've well, never n- been Not that everyone it. thinks that, but like. A majority it's like, do. It's like my dad. He's like, oh, you're gay? Tengo un amigo que es gay. That's, As in, like, yo, dope. let me hook you guys up for oh. whatever reason. And you're like, yo, they don't even like you. I feel like one your dad them, would you fucking do that to yeah, you, you, bro. You can instantly tell one of them's a full top, the other one's a top two. Like, what are you doing here, <laughs> he's bro? He's like, oh, they like the same thing. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. like, well, they like this. Let, let me put two and two yeah. together. It's a complexity, you know, and I've learned to, like, uh, to uh, embrace it more and be like, yeah, I am a fucking gay woman. Like, There's a lot of people that are homo ignorant, Xavier. Including myself. <laughs> I tell my brother, my little brother's gay. I tell him that shit all the time. Be like, hey, fool, when I say the F word, homo ignorant. <laughs> like, when, it, like when, when, I'm, when I'm chilling, I was like, I say that shit, homo ignorant. You can't, you can't crucify me, dog. Yeah. Eventually, it's going to start fading off, though. I feel like more the more it gets normalized and shit, like, it should be like that. And, and you know, I didn't grow up with a lot of gay friends either, you know? Um, a lot of my, my guy friends were, like, low-key gay. It's low-key? You know? well, yeah, how, how, how old like, are you? I'm 30 now. Okay, yeah, so we're the same era. Like, yeah, it's the, all those people, that you, when you start finding out, you almost start finding out from 25 to 35 yeah, because they're, they're okay. so used to being in the closet. Yes, I've had homies who were, like, straight cholo dudes and are, like, bi. My cousin's bi. Like, the cholo homie and, or what is his name? The one that came out with Roxy, the homo homie? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I was like, this fool looks like a cholo, but he's fucking... <laughs> but yeah. he's gay, yeah. That, yeah. Was, that was my cousin's bi. I, mean, I don't even think you can get jumped in if you were gay back then. Well, yeah, I think it was I more... I think 100%. I don't you, even you know, know if now. Can you now? Yeah, of course you can. I'm pretty I, sure, I, I, I'm They sure. got gay gangs. No. They don't give a fuck. Gay people are down as shit. Yeah, fool. I'm not saying I'll they're fuck, not. I just, I'll I'll I'm just asking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fool, I feel like she'll <laughs> sock you, dog. <laughs> she, yeah. My, my, my homies will beat those, the shit yeah, out those, of your homies. Those fools don't want to be oh, gay members. Will sock me. Yeah, I'm not saying they're not hard. No one said these fools were hard, dog. I wasn't here saying, oh, these fools ain't hard as fuck. No, I'm just saying, do they get I jumped see, in? Yeah, fucking of course they can. Well, if the, then get a like, fucking putazo with some glitter, like, homie. And then there's a the homophobia <laughs> behind, like, you know, gang culture, too. That's a whole as other subject and shit. Hey, I saw this movie one time, dog, when I was in college. It's this fucking, like, it's this Latino movie. It's about this fucking, I, I swear, dog. Like, if you if your dad was into lowriders, and you, and this movie was about you. So it's just... It's, <laughs> So there's, <laughs> there's, there's oh, this, there, like, oh, the, 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 the premises of this movie is that he's like a, like a fucking like cholo culture, like low rider ass fool. Right. Okay, and he's been brought into the whole fucking like lifestyle. Right. Just like, uh, you know, like they do rides every fucking weekend. They have a car club. And then he's like, he's raising his son. He's like, yeah, my son's going to be the like spitting image of me. It's making me proud. <laughs> Staying away from gangs. And then this fool catches him getting boned by some other fool. What? Then he disowns, disowns him or some shit. And then he realizes he has to accept his son. 
whether he's gay or not when he once he gets stabbed. You know what I mean? Like he's yeah, like he's like this. Something really, tragic has this, to happen. This for made him to me realize it. that this is my son, regardless. <laughs> 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 yeah. Are so hey, well, funny. you don't think that that happened in any family? You think Tony Soprano? If homo- Tony's son wasn't gay, though. if he was gay, you think Tony would let him live in the house? He would have acted like. The, remember when Meadow Be brought the real. black fool over? He's like, you're gonna, he's like, he's gonna, you gonna bring him over? And then he goes all mad. <laughs> and then he, he, what did he call? What's the, what did he call him? Is it Italian word? Uh, agu, agu, oh no, no, Mulinya. Mulinya. Yeah, Mulinya. Yeah, he's like, you bring Mulinya in my house. <laughs> and he fucking, he gets all mad. And he just, he's just like, Dad, please. And that's fucked up, bro. There's some. I bet you like white girls experience that shit a lot. What do you need? Oh. oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I bet you like what, like uh, what is it uh, what is it like white chicks and like white fools experience that shit a lot, bro? Because they have to deal with some racist ass tendencies with their parents. Yeah, you know Imagine what I mean. How awkward it is to hear your dad say some racist shit. And you have to just be like, don't say anything, Skyler. Don't say anything. You After you like there. you bring, you're, she's bringing <laughs> See, back. Okay, okay, but a white boy is kind of acceptable. No fool. What if a he brings home dude? a black girl? Yeah, exactly. What if he? Yeah, bro. My sister would have brought a black dude over. It would have been like my dad's pretty professional, but the second he leaves the house. Oh. Racist shit. Here comes the banana jokes and just like <laughs> typical, yeah, typical, not even funny. You know, like yeah. super, like like, like that. Yeah, like it's not even funny. Shit. Like it's over. Yeah, yeah like, like it was funny like, like fifteen years ago, like, or twenty years ago. Like, I'll, I'll yeah, admit it. But I he like, said, never been. but I like a good funny. He says it with hate. He says it with hate though. Jokes. It's different, bro. Yeah. Like when he's saying it, he was like, "Como que está cogiendo mi hija?" You know what I mean? No, but my, but I think my type of dad was like that with everything. Like even with cholos, hated cholos. Yeah. All night these parents hated mundo. Cholos, bro. It was a bad image. Been many Bakto showed it all the time, bro. What the fuck? Yeah, my dad hated You think you think the, stereotype the fuck out Yeah, Primer Impacto and Univision and all that shit. They fucking showed the fuck out of those clips. Yeah. They're like, fool, we're well, gonna make you It's not like they exaggerated either. <laughs> Yeah. Those clips were pretty real. <laughs> Cholos were trolling it hey, out back yeah, then, you, dog. You know Let's not what? act like, yo, these fools were out there. Active. That's why it, yeah. it, they were active. It's that's why they stopped it. putting that clip where it was like, mi hijo no see another bottle. Now, now you don't even know who's a gang member. Like, you'll see some little skinny ass skater fool. With, I know fools will do you know, drive-bys and off and a skateboard. I know. Yeah, yeah like for I real. Know, like, yeah, yeah. In the 90s, I remember my parents I knew one fool dog. I knew one fool dog and it's like, I, you met him before too, dog. And it's not who you think. What is it like? And he's come here it's just one time. And I remember, like, when when uh, when this fool fucking uh, told me to get down on this because, you know, he he got down when he was younger at the streets. And I'm just like, bro, I'm like, this is just some new age. You were on some new age level thinking that, like, they're going to be looking for a car. And, and those are the dudes <laughs> you would, I like, think, all oh, the trying Long to hair. be around. Long ass fucking. That's I'm like, hobby, bro. That's their hobby, skateboarding. They got out the hood. Like, <laughs> that. this was still banging out here. That's crazy. Like, you would never think. Yeah. He's, he's like, bro, skate, skateboarder by the fucking shops, anything. Nobody was looking at me. They were just like, this fool was just skating. That's crazy. I was like, God damn, bro. That is like some different shit. That's like, I'm telling you, bro. You don't think this was in the Middle East doing drive-bys off camels? <laughs> or horses? I don't think they can hang. They can't well, run that fast, can they? Or like, I think, I I think mean, he could, I think he could do a drive-by heard, on a horse. Have you heard about the, like, gang members that joined the military? These fools will start tagging up, like, the fucking... They'll recruit the motherfuckers in the other yeah, region. Yeah, they'll start tagging up on, like, random shit the second, yeah. Bro, uh, bro you'll, they, you'll see, like... They got our CP out there. And they got Armenian Afghanistan. essays over overseas, dog. They got like dead. Yeah, they got Armenian essays over there. They speak full Spanish. They all yeah, look like Japan big dukes too. from Psycho Realm. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, like this. That is funny. They, 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 they fucking do. They got the beard and shit. You know they're down, bro. And yeah. those, those, it's, it's kind of awesome. cool because I'm like, yo, you fool, you fools fit in too, almost too good. Like, yeah. like what happened? Have you ever done that 23 and Me? What is that? That shit where you like you, your you, DNA. Your DNA, and they tell you where it's like they tell you oh, where your no, breakdown no, no. is. Your ancestry. Wait, think, you your I'm a, no, I'm gonna I'm do that this year. I'm thinking about doing it this I year. I have some friends who did. You that. know, it's some not. You know, it's kind of bad, right? Why? Oh, you're here giving, we go. Here no, we go, dog. Giving, I want to know why. Shitting giving on. your DNA to the government. Who oh, am I, dog? They already have it. I mean, who? They already got it. Yeah. Already got Since birth, as who? soon as you're born, no, they take they blood. Who am I, dog? Am I so special that they, they're going to clone me? What up? No, 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 <laughs> like, no, no, no. This was the precious dinosaurs. That's how. That's how they caught the. The San Francisco Strangler or the... Okay, am I strangling people? Like... No, no, I'm not saying. It's just... I know they got mine because I got DUI and I... There you go. Yeah. (laughs) I'm just letting people know. But you're letting let people know before you're you're telling people like, yo, give the government your DNA for free. Just so you know, if you give them the... You give Ancestry the, the, the... if There's you if you have babies DNA. everywhere and you fucking are back all up on child support, I don't recommend it. But if you've been living a normal life, like, you know what I mean? Someone like You myself, might do a crime in the future. You don't know that. 
But, but what, just to know what? Just to know you're black? I think you know if you're black. I think you know you're Mexican. <laughs> I think he thinks I think you know you're Salvadorian. You, like, you want to know exactly? It's not that important. What are you important. scared of, Xavier? It's like, not what, that like, important. What are you, what are you, out there. You might need to do a crime in the future. He's scared to be Spanish. Like, he's gonna be I like wish I wouldn't have given him my DNA. That's a, when they told me, when they gave me the whole plea bargain, I was like, cool, cool, money, cool, cool. Fuck. Damn, man. That's what pissed you off, huh? Yeah, because now I would have to fight it, and I knew I was going to lose it. Yeah. That's the plea bargain. I had to. There was no other deal. And I just said, he's like, you have to. And I was like, can I fight that one? And they're like, no, you have to give him your DNA. And I was like, fuck it. Got to get deported. Let's go. Bro, all I'm saying. Oh, you're an immigrant? Yeah, I'm a dreamer. Oh, that's right. Oh, you're a dreamer. Oh, shout out to dreamers. Hey, dreamers. Shout out to Obama. Didn't do nothing. Yeah, I know. That shit's so fucked up. My my, my Uh, aunt's a dreamer. Yeah, I'm I'm glad you don't don't do nothing. It was just like, oh, cool. Just cool. You can hear. Give us taxes. Can you get your license? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You just can't. This fool fucking tours. Damn, you can do everything but leave. Everything but leave. Everything but go to your family. Damn, that shit's so fucked up. Everything but leave. And anything but get in trouble. Do you remember yeah. Mexico still? Like, I can't been here since I was like three. What the fuck? See how fucked up that then is? Why are you I'm worried about head. it? Huh? Why are you worried about it? For listening to Mexican people here to give you the experience. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm not like, you want to go back there Wait, just so you can see dogs on the roof? It, it is cool, though. I want to be able cool. to vote. Yeah. Like, things like that. Since I was oh, oh, no. I oh wow. There. Mr. Conspiracy yeah. Theories wants I to fucking vote. I sat there and I sat there and I saying the Pledge of Allegiance every day. I think I should be able to vote. Yeah. I sat there oh every day in kindergarten. Like a... Didn't even know what I was doing, and I was like, "Xavier, I'm gonna, to I'm gonna put this clip. I'm gonna cut this clip out <laughs> and send this shit to Sam Tripley what? and be like, I, I, I want to vote when, when, when I become a citizen. Yeah, I would. Vote. Oh, that is Why so. Why would I not vote? I'm even, not... I, even, even though I think it's retar- even though I think it's irrelevant, I would want to. No, 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 I'm no, like, it's the first time I could do it. I want to do it. Say it, Xavier. Xavier. Yeah, even though, yeah, even though, even though I think it was retarded, was what you were gonna say? Yeah, retarded. Yeah, I heard it. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, because Sam don't like that word no more, so I didn't want to throw that in there with them. we're growing here, you guys, ladies and gentlemen. We're growing. No, he's. Oh, we give we've given up a lot of words. Yeah, we like retarded, and he also doesn't call them little people. What do you call them? Midgets. Yeah. That's so funny. Dude, people people keeps like now like I mean he gets videos sent to him every day of hospital it makes my day bro i want to see that fool fight huh Huh? have you heard of benefit benefit no what is that rapper he's like from the 90s you should look up a song that it's called yeah you get a kick out of it can we get him on here huh can we maybe get him on here i don't know i don't know if he's even doing music anymore i used to listen to oh he's probably easier to get now (laughs) yeah yeah Yeah, he's on twitter i I think i follow him on twitter we gotta get him bro that day we gotta have like a midget you know what'd be cool one day if we could get like two midget versions of ourselves to co-host the show the whole time and we call it we don't midget the same we have one that's dressed up like (laughs) you and one that's dressed up direct them from over there (laughs) yeah that's horrible (laughs) well he thinks you can rent them out Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. There's a whole fucking society of them, but they fucking are up for work, bro. How do you think? Just like him and come into work like him. That's what I tell him. It's like a slave. I'm like, you can't just rent. I'm not going to make them do stupid shit. You could hire them. You don't think I could? People. You don't think I could hire them and then fucking have them? <laughs> if I dress them up, be like, look, all your merch. You gotta dress up gear? like me the whole day. You're gonna walk around like mini me. You know what I mean? And just the whole. C- I would walk Man, around. Man, I wish I was a midget now. Like, so I could like hey. just. I could literally just bomb on on you fools, make bank. They're fucking balling right now. Yeah, yeah bro. And Yo, me like you know the like, midget you know, from I'm Game of guys. Thrones. Uh, he's balling. Oh, he's the. He's my favorite one. <laughs> see, <Yeah>. see, <laughs> you see how he calmed down. That's how I feel about. I love that fool. Do you know his name? Huh? Do you know his name? No, I don't know uh, his name. Uh, I know his name on the show. What's his name on the show? Tyron. Tyron. Yeah, he's fucking okay. dope. He has on the a black name, badass. Tyrone. Yeah. <laughs> he's a Lannister. I love that. That show's dope. You seen the little? You seen the the the, the Russian midgets? The Russian midgets that look like kids. Nah, that's crazy. the hospital out. They're like, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is out there in the, in the Middle East, but these like, they're they're like the biggest like. Like media yeah, sensation out there, they, and they're making them fight each other. Is he really like, eating three thousand pounds? But they're like calories? balling. They're in like Dubai and shit. I, I don't know if it's like WWE type of scenarios, but it's it's very entertaining because they're fucking grown men, but they look like children. That's weird, and that makes and it's fucking so like hilarious. Weird shit. Like, it is, bro. It is. The, it's like the biggest shit out there, and it's just like. He's like, he's like 18 and he's like he's like the son of some general motherfucker and he's out there just fucking he has a Glock on him the whole time. Uh. He's just out there fucking causing mayhem. They tie him up to a balloon and they make him fly. He does all this funny ass shit. And I'm just like, yo, this is fucking cool. And I'm just like, how come they we don't have made just like that out here? <laughs> all the fools out here, they look like fucking they look older. That's so funny. You haven't seen the little girl on TLC? 
Yeah, but she's not Hasbulaj. No, but she was talking that's pedophile stuff. This is yeah, this is her girl. Yeah. This girl, she's on TLC. She's 22. And they have her walking around asking for drinks. And you don't think I like she that's made an OnlyFans. If she made an OnlyFans, it'd be wild. Because everybody logged wild. in yeah. is a motherfucking pedophile. Well, first of all, I would never thought I never thought about that person starting OnlyFans. I just thought about the comedic possibilities. Yeah, now she's he gets, 21. She's he gets allowed darker to. darker and deeper and yeah. uglier and weird. Mr. Shadow over here with the fucking darkness. Oh, I do a sh- <laughs> it follows that fool. Yeah, bro. That's fucking funny. toxic. Well, I was watching that show and I was sitting there and I was like, this is this who's is watching? Weird. I was like, who's watching this? That's why I don't like that. You know, those pageant, those like. Oh, that's weird pageants. to me. Yeah, like, that's... I don't fuck with that at all. See, but like, you're forcing a kid like in his pure innocence, you know, to fucking like do something that does, that's like very adult like. That's very like you're fucking him up. Yeah, you know what I, mean? I don't. I've, I've never liked that. I remember there was like shows on MTV and shit that we follow the kids around all day. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I always thought it was weird, and I was younger, you know. And I was like, what the fuck? One of my this? nieces did it, and I asked, I asked my my not aunt. I was like, why do you guys? Mrs. Guala, about him? It's so Mrs. Little Guadalajara or what? <laughs> no, no, not the little pageants. It's the same thing though. The competition yeah, yeah. dancing. Yeah. And I was like, why? And I asked them why I put makeup on them, and yeah. their excuse is like for the cameras. For the, the cameras. Oh. I'm like, but, the little like, Dubalin yeah. palette. Well, you know there's yeah, <laughs> blue eyeshadow for the cameras. Yeah. No, because I asked. I was like, why does she have to do makeup? She can dance. No makeup yeah. needed. Because yeah. that's what kind of like, that's what gets all the little pervs out. Yeah. And, I, and I was like, who do you think all is here? Who do you think is watching this? Oh. Like, like, we've gone through it at Disneyland. How many people get caught up being pedals at Disneyland? Because you're there's, trying to that's work the thing. there. You're yeah, trying to work Disneyland's there. Disneyland's a fucking thing. They have security who watches. No that. way. If you, if you see, if they see fools like walking by themselves, like security will notice. Why the fuck oh, are you? No. Hey, why the fuck are you at Disneyland you're by your fucking self, a guy walking around? Damn, I did not fucking know that. You That's what. That? It's always the fools with the fucking beer. I always know. Hey, I know it's coming in the, 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 the beer, beer. Not, not beer, with the beer in their hand. Like you know, California Adventure that you drink. Oh, oh man, yeah. come on, don't general. Don't. The, the, I was like, I fucking have two <laughs> beers on my hand sometimes. <laughs> he sounds like I'm a double pedo. <laughs> No, you like, know. I got two fucking beers in my head. I got a beer. Like, what the fuck? He's like, playing Pokemon. Yeah. He's got Pokemon all over him. What a pedo. Look at that pedo. Fuck Stop you. that no, ball. Don't tell me go, and then no. his girl comes and gives him no, a kiss I on my cheek. girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, his girl yeah, comes yeah. and gives him a kiss on the cheek. Shout out to his girlfriend, yeah. That made this whole conversation more, like, you know, better. <laughs> nah, no, but people also have got caught working there. You know that, right? Yeah, I didn't know that. Well, I can imagine they're sick fucks. Like, they're sick the fucks. They'll get jobs anywhere. Yeah. They'll get jobs that we would even involve kids or kids are involved. It's like a dude like working that. at a strip club. Yeah. Uh, like ugh. a what? It's like a dude working at a strip club. What do you mean? If you work, if you work at Disney and you're a pedo. Oh yeah. It's it's like a right dude there. that works at a strip yeah. club. You just want to see girls dancing all day. And that's a whole other. Like fucking... single rider. I have a joke. I, I I took this joke out because I got kind of it got kind of dark. <laughs> I used to do a joke where I would be like, if you ever see a single rider, you know how they say we need a single rider, single rider, and there's always some creepy dude that raises his hand. Why you want to sit next to him? Do you want your kid sitting next to him? Yeah. I in, in between the hand, in between the ride, it's he put his hand on 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 your daughter's thigh. <laughs> it's just creepy, dude. Like yeah. there's no should be no single riders. Like just yeah, let yeah, it why be. Why the fuck is there even a dude by himself? I think the single the anyone. single riders thing is like it's really just a way why. if you're like if it's like three of you guys just all fucking go and you guys will go on the same little cart at least. Like if you just see somebody by themselves, like you know what I mean? I, like who who did you say? What did you say? Will went there. <laughs> As no, a single well, writer? No, 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 no. He didn't go like that on purposely, but they yeah. did a high and hungry at Knott's. Uh-huh. So they would go, if no one, whoever doesn't know what high and hungry is, this one goes and reviews fucking food yeah, at I've places. So yeah, mm-hmm. so he goes to Knott's and he told everybody, I'm going to be at Knott's, high and hungry, come <laughs> through, <laughs> acting like he's going to be there all fucking day, dude. <laughs> so one of my homies was like, I got nothing to do. I'm Let's a go. Knott's member, vamos, whatever. Goes, he's the one's very... Fucking on time production fool takes a video, takes one bite of the hamburger, doesn't even finish it yeah. just for the video. That's and how you do it. Dip out. My homie's over there like, what I the want to go on rides, you know? He already ate some shrooms or something. <laughs> you wouldn't even well, care. no, it, yeah. it's not that we were trying to leave. It's just You're like, busy. there's busy. different fucking, there's different foods we got to try. So we got to get them all in like, you know what I mean? You got, all right, we get the first station and we got to keep it going. But the homie was trying to get on rides the whole time. So he just went, he's like, well, fuck it. I'm going to go on rides while you guys film. So that's that's what happened. And he that's made what it seem like a pedal. Yeah, a little pedal, walk, a little no. pedal right there. Now and I, he's I, a pedal. I, I get, you see, yeah. now that's I when I was, he was yeah. like, oh. But, but see, I, that's substantial. You wouldn't even understand Yeah, but he's a dick over there acting like he's going to have a fun with the fans. <laughs> Yo, hey, but I, I get you know, like, oh, this shit's a business. Sometimes you feel like you're there yeah. for pleasure, and then you realize you're just fucking working the whole time, even if it's a dope experience. So I've been trying to, like, at least ask 
isolate my personal life a little bit when I'm, I feel more present. Sometimes I just put my phone down. I'm like, you know what? But then I know I need to get the content. It's, yeah. like, it's a fucked up like two way when you're working for yourself. So I, I feel that. Like, you're like You were at that launch party, right? Yeah, I was at the, the Umo? Launch. Yeah, yeah. Were you having mm-hmm. fun or were you fucking actually working? Uh, that was the first time I was just supervising. Oh, so cool. it was cool. I just hired everybody. Yeah, yeah, you guys had an all game mariachi, huh? Yeah, that was uh, the homies right there. I'll be GTQ. Uh, ma- uh, mariachi Arcoiris. Oh, that's fucking, that's a tight ass name for them. Yeah, my yeah, Charcuties. They're fucking sick. Uh, I love them to death. What do they open up with? De Colores. Yeah. <laughs> and that's their signature song. Um, I actually met them. Is at, it for real? Yeah. Oh, shit. I, I just fucking took a guess. I was like, I remember that from, yeah, from kindergarten. Did. So I was like, oh, this is perfect for sense. them. Yeah. yeah, that's what they're, one of their songs that they come out with. But yeah, they're amazing. I did a commercial with them. Uh, with how big are? How big are they? Jalisco. The, um, like, they're pretty big now. So after we did the commercial. They can get huge. That's what I'm asking. Yeah, they can get really big. Yeah, they're right now. They're trending. They're they're doing their thing, fucking representing, and they're all like Latino too. And they have all like. Are they like older fools or like you know? Because when I think mariachi, I'm thinking like 45 and up. I am thinking older fools, but they can't be. What's older fool? Young and old. I don't even know. Uh, probably like 45, 50. And you and like I mean, just to say, you have to be gay. Like, yeah, of course. You can't be straight. This is a part of the game, you know. You get excluded. All the straights say. Make way. That's the only group that can <laughs> fucking be like, you know what? Hey, they're the first ever in the world. First LBGTQ. Hey, they're, the, they, for real, they're the only people that could be like, hey, fool, you're not allowed here, dog. Yeah. Imagine how that's the difference, you know, this world. I'd be like, why do you want to go in there anyways? <laughs> 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 like, what, the trumpet? <laughs> you know, I, feel, solo I feel like back then when like, you used to like, yo, you can't come in, you got cooties. <laughs> yeah, now I feel it's like the they're like, yo, no, tienes cooties. It's time to reclaim and shit, you know? Fuck it. <coughs> that's, how, that's how it feels. <coughs> It's our turn to make all the streets uncomfortable, how they made us feel. Ha, 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 I mean, we weren't fucking in public, you know? I mean, you guys <laughs> like, like, gotta, gotta support us, though. You gotta like, support us. We got, we're the one who make you fools. Yeah, it's true. No, you gotta I, really I, give I, us a little hey, support. Now give us a little support. I'm, I'm, that is, that is true. How come we don't get that support? I know, I don't support. Not, that, yo, like, yo. <laughs> Keep it Cause up, you, dog. Because you, you can adopt like a, like you can adopt like a, like a gay orphan or somebody's like, hey, this fool identifies as gay. You know what I mean? I have a gay son, but like. You, you know, a gay person is bored, dog. Be like, two toxic people can make a gay food. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, I think that's what God does. He's like, oh, fools, I don't like you fools. <laughs> like, because I'd be like, it's be like, you're so toxic. This is what's going to happen to you. And then you, and then you produce, dog. And then you add it to the cycle of life, dog. Yeah. And you, and you got to, and that, then God's like, that's what you get, dog, for being a hater. <laughs> and that's the cool part. I just get to represent both, you know? Like, I understand all my friends are like, some of them I've had to like, explain to them shit that they didn't understand and they'd be like oh fool i don't even know that's oh, what i'm shit. telling you the term and is homo ignorant dog yeah it's, Start. it's fucked up because they really don't fucking know they just see whatever it was they were brought up on like their fucking dad was probably low-key gay and would like hate homo homophobic he was homophobic because of that and wouldn't come out you know i feel like it's a lot of shit like that and i have an uncle who came out as gay and he's a weirdo fuck that fool by the way um, <laughs> But like weirdo not, how? Not, 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 what, what? He was like he's like kind of low key pedo. Oh I was, damn! Yeah, that's, yeah, he's a low key pedo. Fuck that guy. Um. Anyways, aside from that, now he's like gay, you know. And then and I'm like, bro, you're like, don't come and taint our fucking community <laughs> with your fucking yeah. nastiness and shit. Like weirdo fucking people, you know. And I feel like it's a lot of like identity isn't that, clashing. I mean, I mean, so I might get hate for this, but isn't that common? Like usually, like older gay men will go for younger so, so gay my, men. Yeah, so I mean, I'm not too young, but at the age where it's like 17, 16, where it's like not okay, but this kid's like at this but bar I where feel... he's not supposed to be at, and they know that he's not. And Chris Hansen is waiting and, for yeah, you to like come it's in. Not, I'm not saying they're straight pedos, because to me, like a pedo is a pedo, but to me, like to me also, like there's also like little kids. To me, like that's like he, a whole he likes different... he he. I'm sure he probably. I don't know. I don't even want to talk that deep into it. But my point is, is like the root of machismo didn't allow him to express himself. So he was probably gay and just started exploring different sexualities, different shit. Like hating himself so much that he just started doing weird shit. Like that Doritos you know commercial. I mean? Have you seen this Doritos commercial? Which one? All right, so like there's, there's, so there's this yeah. like Hispanic, this Latino uh, Doritos commercial, right? And they're like, it was for Dia de los Muertos, and these fools are crying. They're like, ah, Miguel, you know, estoy orando por Miguel. Mm-hmm. And then, and and then, like, you know, he's crying, and then he, the ghost shows up, and then he's like, oh, regreso Miguel, regreso Miguel. And then another fool pops up. He's like, and then he's like, oh, ¿y quién es él? Oh, es mi pareja. 
And then, you know, and then they fucking, they celebrate all together. And it's like Doritos, gay. Uh, the I love month. it. Better fucking. <laughs> but I was like, it's very rare to see like a gay fool that's like that age of age come out. They're like, those fools are going to stay in the closet most of the times, you know? Yeah, and I'm glad they're starting to like explore that and show it like, hey. Because <clears throat> they weren't like your typical, like, look, not, not like, but like what people think, like, what a gay person is like, oh, it's a young, flamboyant person, but like, they're like, they were like, Latino, like, Mexican, Mexican, like, con sombrero and shit, you know? And you see that all the time, and I feel like they, they, they become like so frustrated. Just society is so fucked, you know what I mean? And a lot of, like, you notice, uh, I was watching like a lot of the murder crime stories on like TV, and a lot of them fools root up to not being able to express themselves, not being able to come out the closet. A lot of them had like, Crazy, you know, trauma growing up, get, got beat up by parents, got sexually abused. Like, all that shit's like, it makes a crazy ass fucking mixture of, pe- of, of shit. And that, like, correlates a lot to, like, bringing up, getting brought up how we are. Like, you know what I mean? Like, not liking gay people. Like, that was a thing. Like, I got kicked out of my house, of my dad's house when I was 16 for being gay. Damn, like that? I was homeless for a year. Like straight up, like what well, he was like hotels, momos, just like with crackheads and shit. So against, so that he was just like, "Tú no vas a ser así." He, he spit at me and my oh, partner damn. and said, "You disgust me. Get the fuck out of my house." And like honestly, I could have took that in another way where I would have hated him, been like, so dis- I would have destroyed myself and everything that I was about. But I mean, the thing I fucking made it into a good thing. I was like, I'm gonna hustle. I'm gonna start selling drugs. I'm gonna fucking. I don't care what I have to do to not be on the streets. You don't speak to that fool. Nah, I don't fuck that fool to death. So. Yeah. And I'm 30 years old, and that was when I was 16. So like, even now, like, it, it just trips me out. Like, fuck, I went through a lot that I shouldn't have gone because I was gay, and that's literally it. Like, no one could ever say like, why'd you get kicked out of your house? Oh, because I yelled at my dad. No, because I was gay. You <clears> know? And that's. What it was, you know, and it's so fucked. A lot of people go through that and make it into a negative thing or a positive thing, you know, so it's pretty tricky. Does that mariachi get a, a lot of hate? Because, I mean, Vicente, yeah, the king, I mean, let's not lie. He fucking he's did homophobic. not. Like, he's homophobic as I fuck. Know. He said it. So yeah. when they sing I found Rey, out after, when, they, yeah. when he died, I found out all those articles about him and how he was just a little weirdo. Yeah. And it was like, I'm like, damn, we're like glorifying this Mexican <clears> icon <throat> that most of most people would hear us right now and be like, fuck you, that's Vicente Fernandez to his death. <laughs> but like... Realistically, he was kind of fucking like you know weirdo, and I and I was but, I was disappointed with fucking. But I mean, he's I think those were just like his times. Like we can't blame like yeah. John Wayne, like John Wayne Airport. They want to take his name and want to dish, yeah, talk shit on him because back then he said shit he shouldn't have said what now. Is, but back then everyone. What did he say, Xavier? You, say, you huh? could probably quote yeah. it so well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he said something about Starting having rumors slaves. And shit. <laughs> Uh, I think about hitting women or something like that, which okay. I mean, it's obviously you're not allowed to, but back then they did it. And like, are we going to take away his name and make him look like a bad person? Which I mean, I'm not, a, I don't agree with I that. Like we still yeah. can't say fuck like, he's not, huh? I would say fuck yeah. Take so then we're, not, then we're not, then we're not, then we're not going to have no one in the back in the past. Cause everybody had I don't even back know then. Like, is. like if anyone, no one's going to miss him. If you don't tell the story, if it dies there, it fucking even better. Like, yeah, but gosh. everybody back then had crazy thoughts. Everybody, yeah. everybody was racist. John everybody. Gay Airport instead. Huh? John Gay yeah. Airport instead. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, all I'm saying is, it's, it's kind of like everyone back then was racist. Yeah. Did home like Genghis Khan. We don't talk about Genghis Khan. He Ooh, that fool killed the half world. the world, dog. Yeah. <laughs> and what do you? And but but did he not do? I mean, you're losing me, X. Not that I'm losing you, but we're <laughs> just saying like so. No, but we're hey, not. He's trying though. Yeah. Huh? No, I got But you. there's no great people. But you're saying there's no great people back then if they had. Cra- I feel like all those thoughts. people had more than just being homophobic and white people want to remove their name off the shit. You know, I feel like it's more than that. Like, oh no, they like were everything. It's like saying like I don't trust people who don't like pets. Like for example, I don't fucking fuck with anyone that they're like. Oh, I don't really like. Yeah, dogs like if somebody or cats. fucking says fuck dogs. Yeah, I'm like, like well, are you fucking don't like, like being loved? So we're gonna <laughs> fight, <laughs> like. <laughs> Hey, yeah, give me a beer. Right there, yeah. What you want? So this beer taste does taste like a. It tastes like just get a couple. I don't know. It's a, it's interesting, you guys. I've been smelling. Isn't it. that like Sunny D kind of? I don't know. Like I've been trying to taste it and. It's like a Tampico beer. But it's. Thank you. See, it's a milkshake. That's what he kept saying. No, like, that's a smoothie. A, that's a smoothie. Sorry. It's like a smoothie slushy beer. Some people freeze them. They're usually like, like they consist of. Um, Damn, these, they got cold in that fridge, dog. It's sweet for me, but... I mean, there's other ones here, too, but I mean, you know, I told you it was going to be something different. Uh, he was like, oh, are you ready to drink? I'm like, what the fuck? It's like... You're nine, like, it's fucking 9.30. It's 9 in the morning. In the morning what the fuck? I don't really like drinking in the morning because then I have to keep drinking all day. And then, uh, then I'll be at Universal Studios in a few hours just for no reason. 
that's that's kind of like one of my go-to places too. Me too. Yeah. I love Universal. That one in bowling. I'll go bowling. You know what it is? It's like I, every time I go to the tram tour, I just want to hop off. Yeah. I just want to jump off and just like be like, all right, it's time to explore this fucking back lot. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have your own vlog <laughs> behind the scenes. Ever since I think it was that movie with um, what is it with Mal- Malcolm in the Middle that took place in that Universal back lot. And Amanda Bynes, I think it's called Big Fat Liar or something like oh, that. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Yeah, and they, and they fucking got to explore that back lot. I want to go to that prop room where they I have remember. all those fucking props. I know that shit's crazy. Like from all those fucking movies, they have the old ET there. They have all this fucking old crazy shit. I want to see all those. That's props. some historic shit right there. I would love to see that. I, I used to work at Sony, so I I used to walk the lots, and I got to go inside the the Breaking Bad one, the the RV and all that. That was fucking cool. It was like. Like just like mint condition and shit, but yeah, yeah. They they usually have it for employees to like depending if they finish the movie or whatever. Yeah. They'll bring out all the props like in our eating area and we're like able to like, look at it, take photos Damn, of it. That's like, clean. Took pictures of a bunch of fucking cars too that they have from like the Fast and the Furious and all that. It was cool. <laughs> it's cool to see that. You see all the fake crystal meth too that they would cook supposedly. It's just sugar candy, right? Um, I don't know what they did it. I don't know how they did it, but they were pretty fat fucking rocks, like yeah. eight balls of them. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a, it's a sugar candy, man. They, they they break that shit down. I've seen this. In, I don't want to say. I think it, they break it down to your Universal Studios when you take like that um the extra fucking, I guess behind the scenes tour or some shit. Like it's like the same shit they use for uh, when they would break in the Western movies. People through the glass. That shit was all sugar. So now it's just different ways. Rock candy. Oh, like the ones that would crash into, like if yeah. their, their head was. Broken. I was low key when I found that shit out. I always want to do it. Be like, come on, man, somebody throw me through that shit. But then I'm like, I bet you that shit could still cut you with sugar. Like, it's still, it's still like, yeah, kind of hard. It would still kind of hurt a little bit. I'm sure. Especially like if it's gonna go through your head, or if I get a mug and just like, you know what I mean? Like, I don't yeah. know, but it, that shit looked like they, they pegaban con ganas. I wish they go in a Western movie. Like those are some putazos right there. You know what I mean? Like those fools are throwing tables. Well, when I saw the Django, when cups. I saw the Django, I saw DiCaprio looking like he was putting some force into it. That's a whole ass art. Like, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes art. I was like, like a I natural. That, like, yeah, I was like, sometimes I was like, I think that fool fucked up the scene on purpose to say that N word again. <laughs> <laughs> Why you starting shit, dog? Why you starting shit? Fucking it up for DiCaprio for no reason. I'm oh just God, saying, so bro, cool. they're going after. Can you pass Rogan. me my sweater over there? Yeah. Thank God it's cold and not hot. I know. I I bitched out already. That's why it's cold. No, it's cool. We've been wondering if it's gonna be hot up in this. Place. Oh, it's well. I mean, we got the AC. Don't trip. Yeah. But uh, it, so what is it? Sugar. That's all. That's like only when it's like summertime. But uh, I want to take this moment to tell everybody that's been watching, uh, watching live. Thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. If you have any questions, make sure you guys uh, get them super chats in. Uh, yes, we are still here at Be Real TV for people that are uh, that are wondering. We just switched up the set, so we just had it. We just have our own office. And the Dr. Green Thumb show will be on shortly. I don't know if it's going to be on today to give you guys an update. But we were not the test run. Yeah. Everybody was like, hey, you guys test running for Dr. Yeah. Green Thumb? No, they got a whole yeah. they, way it's better. A whole, like, it's trust a whole, me, they're not fucking with shit like this. Yeah, they got a, they got a yeah. whole different setup. Yeah. These, but, these cameras ain't, ain't shit to what they But got. that will be on shortly, so just be patient. And thank you to everybody that is fucking tuning in. And you have any questions, once again, hit them super chats. And I do want to thank our sponsor uh, of the month. And I know that we're going to get a special delivery because I just got off the phone with him, Xavier. Uh, big thank you to our people at California Magic Farms, the one and only place to get fucking mushrooms. If you're interested in knowing how to grow these wonderful supplements, if you're interested in knowing how to take them, microdosing, if you're interested in how to grow them at home, you can go ahead and buy the kit, everything that need that, that, that you need for the kit, all in one place. <laughs> And if you're because you're a viewer and listener of the We Don't Smoke the Same podcast, just use the special code word WDSTS. Save yourself some money at the checkout for being a viewer as a special thank you from us. So make sure you guys check them out if you're interested in exploring the wonderful world of mushrooms. I know I explore that world every day when I microdose. And these days, it's a lot of better experience. You know, like sometimes, you, like I said, I would recommend the only time to take mushrooms is when you got clarity in your head. If you got a lot of shit going on, you might want to. To stay away from any drugs. You know what I'm saying? Facts. But, but yeah, so make sure you guys check them out at Cali Magic Farms. Make sure you guys uh, peep them and make a purchase in there using our special code word. Also, uh, make sure you guys check out Craft Beer Kings, the one and only place to get craft beers. They got two locations, one in Huntington Beach and one 
in El Monte. That's where we get our daily pickups from beers. Uh, they got different beers. I'm going to go pick up, pick us up some new beer, even though we already have some upstairs, but they need some for downstairs. All your Tecate lovers, they got it there, too. <laughs> Nobody goes there for fucking Tecate. Hey, either. fool, don't, don't trip. Well, Tecate sold worldwide. Don't, why are you hating on Tecate? I'm just Big saying, bro. Tecate sucks. I, I agree Another with you. hater. Fool. Tecate is like... It this fool takes pride in that yeah. shit because because their fuck. fucking slogan is hombres con carácter. Dude, I'm about to get that sponsor. <laughs> yeah. Don't be a hater, bro. Watch when I get that sponsor and I get that when I can pro- say that. That shit's hilarious. That shit's like my slogan. Tecate is not the... It's not the <laughs> Yeah, so if you want to drink heady beers, make sure you guys go check them out at Craft Beer Kings. They can't got heady beers all day, bro. I'm telling you, the is not like these are bomb for one, two. You can't drink these all day, homie. Yes, you can. They got this on all day yes, you at can. the lake, river, and then that's how you look like you. No, this you drink them. You drink them all day. <laughs> this, is, this is for hombres verdaderos, dog. Oh, <laughs> just come up with the better slogan for that. Like, then we'll yeah, that shit's funny. I didn't even know that was a slogan. Yeah, for real. Xavier lives by that. All I'm saying is you could drink these all fucking day, Xavier. Don't be I fucking hating. I get fucked hating. up. These are too good. I get fucked up. Some of them are 7, 4.5, 5 points, like not 7. This one's a 7 early in the morning. I didn't even finish mine, to be honest. I got scared. Oh. Yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, but make make sure you guys check them out. They also got the Smokebox beer, which is the Be Real collaboration. Uh, I believe it's almost sold out. Uh, it's been out for uh, now two months, so make sure you guys go check them out at uh, Craft Beer Kings. And is it time for Super Chats yet? Yeah. All right. Let's go. No. You got like. Do you have a mic there, Kate, or no? No, she don't got a mic. Oh fuck. fuck. Damn. Yeah, I can. Well, you. This. Kate, you're gonna have to yell them out now. <laughs> California Magic Farms, twenty dollars. Who sent the prayer? Okay. Salute to California Magic Farms. Thank you for your donation. Appreciate you watching the show. That's our sponsor. So there you go. He's gonna be coming by soon. What's the next or one? Do you think he's going to give you the same little blue, the yellow and, yellow and red? The Mario pills? Yeah. Those I look sketchy. Why? They, they just... They just, look like real... They look just, like drugs. Like real drugs. You just I, got, I like a see-through. Like see-through just looks natural. Like it's them all these are vitamins. You see those red and blue bloods, you you're like, yo, what but are you to me, they, Those look trapperish to me, though. Yeah, trapperish. And I don't mind I them, thought they were... I thought they were... Boy, I'm not trying to look trapperish no I, more. I, I, thought they were no, I thought they were very novelty, bro. Yeah, I get pulled over up. by the cops. The cop, I can't say. Son vitaminas. Why? Cop will instantly I got be away like, with it with the microdosing mushrooms. Mm-hmm. I, I had them in pills, and I told them they were vitamins. Yeah, but not what. But what the, the pill cop was, asked you. Yeah, yeah. You got pulled over with. Yeah, yeah I got just pulled over from vitamins. Arizona. I went herbal, to jail. Herbal pills. Just say the herbal no. pills. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, Dude, they won't know it if you Cause grind I, it cause up. Because I'm the one. I I um I grind them myself, yeah. and then I put them in the little plastic. You know, yeah. Like uh, pills, whatever. That's how you microdose them. I usually like split them in half and do one in the morning and one at night. Okay, what if you got a would have got pulled over with? Yellow and red capsule. Then I would be fucked. Exactly. They what would I'm know. To say they would boy. know. I love that they shit, but it looks yeah. Sketchy. They would, damn. Yeah, like, I got away with it though. Yeah, it was cool. You yeah. just like their vitamins. They yeah, were just I like, okay, that's that what were, popped you. I told them they had an herbal. They were like herbal, like energy, like whatever boosters. Yeah. yeah. Damn. Sure, what I told them, but I got shit, away with shit, it. Shit, I bought it a fucking. And that's right before shop. they went legal because I had weed on me, and he's like, "We just legalized." What was this like a year ago? Yeah. I was like, when they barely leave it, I was like, you're lucky right now. Or else I would have took you in for the week, too. And I was like, whatever. Damn. Yeah. That's fucked. Yeah, so that, they're a little scary sometimes carrying those. The ones that look like Trapper. lab. Yeah. Lab made and shit. Yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, red's cool, though. Green. What is it? Uh, red, red pill, blue pill? Damn. Yeah. I, I never thought about it, but I still like those pills. But whatever. <laughs> What's the next one, Kate? Cheaper <laughs> as. I was fucking pissed. I don't have a picture with Rogan. Everybody's posting the Rogan pictures. I can't contribute. I wish I had one, dude. I you know what I have? Jo- Ro- I know you have one. I ha- no, I have the smoke box that I'm here with him. I'm fucking pissed, bro. I'm post He's that like up. my idol. I've, 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 I've called him up on, not on stage, but I've told him like, hey, you're up on next on stage. I've shook his hand. I could have got a picture, but I'm that type that don't want to get pictures unless it's a real picture, you know? Yeah, I feel it. I don't do that either. Yeah, I don't want I don't, I don't want a picture where you can tell it, hey, bro, you think, I want it to be very, yeah, very natural. And I, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it one day. You hugging you? Yeah. Like, that's my boy. Yeah, like that. Like, what's up? Smoking the Yeah, that's what he wants. Yeah, like, it's going to happen. Why you going to be a hater? <laughs> no, but shout out to Rogan. We all know I love that Just because of that, I'm going to post up the clip. Yeah, I hate it. Everybody was doing it, and I couldn't. I didn't 
I didn't, even, the, I didn't I, even look through my I didn't even look through my iCloud because I know there wasn't one. Like there was no need to even try to look for this picture of me and Rogan. I was like, no, I never took one. I, I thought about it, but then I saw the Truth Turtle fucking talk about. It. He's like every comedian right now. I didn't give a fuck. Was, you should do it. It's a hard flex. <laughs> no, no. Nah. 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 Like, nah. He's was helped just, every comedian. He he he's been, he's helped every comedian, and if not, he's probably helped mostly. Like, look at who's helped out. I'm here because I am. That's what happened. Did really, he, he, he personally he, he, he that personally that. helped you out, Xavier. He helped out Sam Tripoli and. George Perez and I work for both them motherfuckers and I wouldn't be here without them. So no, but, but out but Rogan. you say yes, Joe. Then, thank you, Joe Rogan. There you go. <laughs> this has nothing. Okay, but I, I just well, he don't. asked me what it was. That, that's my take on it. But I I wouldn't go. I'm, you can say he inspired you. Say it, huh? You can say he inspired you, but just like yo, he personally helped me out. He, no, George Perez went on his podcast and I hit up. George Perez, because I saw him on his podcast, and I said, hey, you should have a podcast. You were great on Rogan's. You're not going to say that's a little bit of thank you, Rogan? In a way, he, it's still inspiration. Fuck you. Not, why not, why not, you always got to go around the bush? Fuck you, fool. It's not inspira- it's, it's more inspirational than saying, like, yo, and Joe Rogan Sam put Tripoli, this shit together and then we all know for Rose, me. We know Sam Tripoli wouldn't be where Sam Tripoli's at without Joe Rogan. Period. Well, you yes know Sam. No? You know Sam you more yes than no you know Sam more know the, than me. Sam did a whole thirty-minute thank you what, about what, what him. What is the root here? He did he say some homophobic shit too? No, he said he said the n-word, but not like he said it co- in like in a context with like the hard that ER. guy. Like that guy oh, yeah, said, with yeah, the R R. Yeah, with it was the that guy said this, not hey. He was quoting somebody. That quoting said someone, it. but this was talking like he's been doing a podcast for twelve years for three hours almost every other day. Yeah. It not that it slips out. It wasn't a slip out like. I've slipped out. Like, I've said that with an A. That says, I don't try to say it no more, but sometimes I'm like, hey, because I know back then. Yeah. Obviously, my bad. But yeah. he said it literally saying it the way he wanted to say it. But it was, I, I mean, they put this comment, this this video of just him saying the N-word, thras, 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 and it like makes it did, look bad. Yeah, but they, but they didn't put the context. And there should be, there's a little bit of context between so, what so he said. So the context was that he was. <laughs> He's going to have to pay. He was quoting somebody, but he said it. Yeah. That's funny. It's, it's, it's bad. Tri- it's not good. He apologized for it. He said he's sorry. He would never do it now. Is that true? Mean, gonna gotta, make a video? But that's why he. You shouldn't apologize. If someone. That's my thing about oh, apologizing. Apologized. Yeah, no. Yeah. <laughs> but that's my thing about apologizing now. Even when you apologize, the people that are asking you to apologize sorry. aren't gonna forgive you. <laughs> They're not asking for your <laughs> forgiveness. As fuck. No, this supposed to do You know what type of sorry that is? She's only laughing because no, I'm gonna tell her now. That's his retard. Sorry. <laughs> Laugh. Yeah, that's his retard. Sorry. Do it again, his own, please. Sorry. <laughs> He's an asshole. Oh, man. Wow. Poor yes. Guy. Shout out to Rogan. Stay strong. They're going to come at you through you. Yes, fool. Who else was it that said that? that was it that, uh, that Food Network lady that said the N word, too? Oh, yeah, I, I don't know. Oprah Winfrey's getting her ass kicked too. Why? She can that say that where she's black. Bitch said, that bitch said that the Holocaust wasn't against race. It was white against white. What? Bam. <laughs> kicked off. And she got kicked off on Black History Month. You, <laughs> that's how you know you fucked up, fucked up. No, when they said, history. She's like completely racing. You're black and we don't care. She's erasing history at that point. So. Yeah, she was yeah. acting like, yo, it's not Yeah, racist, you can't just care. erase that shit. What's the next one, Kate? <laughs> Oh hell no! Hey. P- pizza. Oh, no. Pizza. Oh, there she, she, she says, says it. Right. Cor- she says, she says cool? it correct. Not like I, you. I don't even hear the you difference. Know, you know what I think of? Like T Z when you say it. P T Z. Yeah, pizza. You know, pizza, pizza. Pizza. You say pizza. He pizza. says pizza. 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 That's pizza. like from paisa shit. Yeah. yeah, it's for sure. Chunti, chunti. Chunti. One hundred percent chunti. Paisa. <laughs> well, no wonder you don't got papers. <laughs> Oh, that, yeah, that's, that's going right. to be my test. That's going to be my test. Sonora. What if that was the oh, test, that's bro? Oh, light skin. I knew yeah. it. Yeah, they're all, what, what if that was that, the, the citizenship word. test? They're like, say this word out loud. Like, don't pizza. let ice hear you. That's literally going to be on the fucking on their test. Be like, say pizza. Pizza. Pizza, pizza. <laughs> they're like like the little so fucking funny. pizza loca. <laughs> Damn, that's dog. Horrible. What's the next one? <laughs> Oh, for Fuck, sure. I, We're getting that, I used to write the N-word on Twitter all the time. 
in case you can anybody probably go wants back. to date. Yeah, I don't care, but I'm not going to sit there and I don't care. I mean, it is but what it I, is. I, this is news to me, Xavier. You, you, yeah. I mean, back then, when I when I first got Twitter, I was in high school. Like with the A, with the a, with the a or with the with ER? Oh, okay, that's different, bro. You're just, oh, yeah, with an A. Just I was like, like whoa, no, dude, you're just no. out there just like no. slave mastering it? Come on, you say it. To this day, you say it. I do say Ooh. it. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> yeah, but not on air. And the F word, too, a lot. <laughs> I do too. I'm not throwing him under the bus. Yeah, I, 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 just, I, I just see both It slips of out. It slips out, but we're, we just do it because we're assholes. <laughs> hey, but it's off air. That shit's funny. All right, next question. Rizzo, five dollars. Dope setup. Thank you. Appreciate you uh, watching the show and appreciate the super chat. Shout out to Bill Dotry. Yeah, dog. Bill. This fucking table was such a bitch to get up here. We could have used your help, Kate. This one was cool. This is a cool table. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, because yeah. Kate, Kate was going to fucking guide help us, us carry this us. table of it. Guide us. We need a lot of guidance. Kyra was helping know, us. We didn't know you had a car. Congratulations. Yeah. You got a car now. Yeah. So I was like, come. Without come. your help, Saul. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Imagine she's like, you actually bought it. <laughs> Shout out to Saul. <laughs> she's like, my cash app in my link. <laughs> Yo, no, that um, shit was such a bitch to get up here. Yeah, this this was so this was the hardest thing to fucking. Um, I like the layers of color. Yeah, it's it, cool. it's it's it was the hardest thing to fucking get up through the door and up the stairs yesterday. Dude, be real's car's right there, so worst case scenario. I mean, that was that's not just his scenario. regular car. The fucking low rider. Yeah, the low rider. Was yeah, right the more next expensive ass car is right there. Carol's hand <laughs> got hurt. B real was looking at us laughing. While the table's hanging. Yeah, the table's hanging. He's just floor. like, don't let it go. He's like he's just like, feel true fucking you guys let it go. I'm like, but we can use some help right now. You're not just watching. He's like, let's yeah. watch right No, now. and then like if it falls, the DJ set strike at the bottom. And so. no one decided to like move it in case it fell. They were like, Well, we know you guys are gonna get in trouble. That's funny. Yeah, I tell you, society that doesn't help these days. Well, good job. I like it. Thank you. We st- we still we ran out of little things to post the rest of the artwork, but it's gonna be all filled up. That looks cool. I like it. Oh, where's yeah? Ezon's gonna bring out his rig here now, so we can take fat dabs off his nice. Rig. Well, we fi- yeah, we yeah, finally got our fucking office. It. Huh? Yeah. Thank God you guys didn't have it. I I don't like. You don't like doing that? I mean, we're, it's not. It's, well, you don't have to. Yeah. This, isn't, this isn't like, I mean, it's called we don't smoke the same, but this isn't like, hey, you smoke have to now. like eat. You, yeah, you, you, you know, the whole, the whole purpose of it is like, where everybody thinks it's like, oh, you're coming in here and fucking people up. It's like, no, I, I acknowledge that everybody <laughs> smokes different. Yeah. So every guest is going to come in here and not smoke the same. Like, yeah. yo, we're always going to be smoking. Have you, have you ever had anyone that didn't want to smoke? Of him? course. Yeah. 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 We had a real estate agent the that re- might come yeah. on soon. He comes on. Oh, yeah. Time. He's one of the best luxury yeah. real estate agents in fucking all over uh, Southern California. Yeah. Comes and parties here with us, brings his expensive ass liquor and just expensive, like. Expensive. Like, like give, shit that girls on boats get. Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like, like 1984, like I got a today. Casa Azul. Yeah, like it's just like he's out there. He's, he just does a lot of different uh, stuff with luxury houses, and he comes up and he gives gives people free fucking home market advice. That's cool. And it's, he's really he's a really dope. Uh, shout out to Danny Brown. Yeah. yeah, that's cool. He's he's due for coming back again. Now so. I know who to go to. Oh yeah, he'll show you some luxury ass shit. Like he. Nah, I don't. I don't want to buy luxury shit. That's all he Not deals right with. Yeah. Yeah, but when you need to make that call though, he's one of those guys that I don't though. like. Yeah, when you need to, to make that call yeah. though, he will be yeah. that dude, and he'll be like, "Yo, he's like, I got these." All houses. right, I'm gonna manifest it today. All right, give me five years. I'll be in. I'll be hitting. This. He what reminds I, me. He reminds me of like cribs. I never liked to watch cribs, but he reminds me of cribs. When you go through his Instagram, you're like, man, like you kind of like. Then you look at your apartment. And you're I've like, seen, yeah, like, I need to do better. Yeah, like, that's, that's, why, that's why I, I never watched MTV hood. Cribs. I was just yeah. like, yo, my dad. I was happy about this bitch ass fridge. Yeah, no, I'm not. <laughs> I, I trip out on the amount of money that's just floating out there that is accessible, but we don't know how to like jump into that circle. I feel that I realized that I figured it out. So it's like there's like these tiers of circles. And as you keep going up, that tier of circle like starts following you and you start helping each other up and you get you become like richer. And then you meet other people and then they make you richer and then it, it turns into this weird fucking thing i think me changing the people i've been kicking it with have made me more and more more and more money and then changing that and learning how to like explain know. that a bit more like because I, I think a lot of people are probably like like what do you mean like you, you change the people you kick it with you no got, like you, you stay true to who you are always so yeah. you need to have those people the foundation that no matter what they're going to be by your side 
a hundred percent, no matter how rich or poor you get. And you start filtering them out as you like get more successful. Yeah. The, the other ones will start kind of falling off, calling you stupid names like Hollywood, or they start like making yeah. names like "What's up, Paris?" and shit yeah. like that. That's what happened to me, and I started noticing how people would switch up, and I was like, okay, cool. And they kind of subconsciously they all just started kind of shedding off, right? And after that, I realized like I needed to not only replace them, but like find a new group of friends that can like empower me. So I started making friends at networking events, and then started saying like, "Let's go kick it." Not let's go do business, but let's go kick it. Yeah. And actually develop like a friendship where now it's genuine and we're working together and we decided to even take it to the next level would be, would be deep business. And that kind of grows into another tier. Like then you start making money with that group. And then from that group, you meet other people that you like cling on. And then it becomes like a cycle of like progression. And then you just start skipping these tiers, like the faster you go. But it's all genuine because you genuinely just find those people. That you that like are talking the same language you are like financially yeah like, like they're on the same wave exactly yeah and that's how I figured out like like it's like a whole other wave of money because those people have access to this money if you, even if it's like a nonprofit grant money or whatever yeah. the fuck they're like they think of you from establishing that relationship wherever it was and like when that money and opportunity comes they automatically think of you and they're like oh I remember I was talking to so and so and they were so fucking cool they yeah. don't think of you as like you making them money, but they know you're great. Yeah. But they just like you. The recommendation and the and the, and the it's more authentic. Yeah, and not only yeah. that, you're backing in and you're like talking like and you're walking your fucking life and how it should be, and they see the authenticity in that, and they kind of just cling into that, and then that person helps you, and then the other person helps you, and then it turns into this like magnet of everyone wanting to fuck with you, and like rise everyone up, and that's what's been happening to me. That's tough because I mean, there's a, you've been working for a while, and a lot of things like you're you're everywhere. You know what I mean? Like it's like. Well, I showed and, up with this Umo shirt, and she's like, "I direct it." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, and then, then and I was like, "Oh, I just met your homegirl. Yo, she was on my podcast." On you go buy some shoes right now. Go to the mall, and I was like, "You might see her on the ads." What is it, Foot Locker? Yeah. Well, yeah. shout out to Foot Locker. Yeah, they're cool. I did some some shit for them. Yeah, you're you're on the Foot Locker yeah. ad. Well, she's on. It's like she's wearing some shit right there, bro. Like, and then she took those pictures too. Yeah, yep. I had my homie take them, but yeah, of me, yeah. But I've been like working with Foot Locker, uh, Nike. Been working with Adidas. I've been working with. A lot of big names, Becky G. I've been working with Felipe Esparza. What I recently do, Hera Max. I've been working with, I just did like some shows for like with Nodal that I took some photos for too. I've been working with Facebook. Who I was did. your first gig where you're like, holy shit, did this just happen? Um, you were sitting there in bed and you're like, holy shit, did I just take a picture of so and so? Yeah, I did a, I was second camera for Trap Symphony with Chief Keef. I don't know if you guys ever watched that. Damn. Yeah, I was second camera for that. And that was like my first big gig directed by Eric. Uh, shout out to the homie Eric. Um, and I got plugged through him with other friends that I made like at a networking event. And then they thought of me and he couldn't do the job and told some director in New York who does actually Joe Budden's podcast, yeah. Erickson, who's the one that directed that. And um, he hit me up and was like, oh, I've never been in LA, but I need a shooter and homie can't do it. He says, you're the one. I'm going to believe him. Let's go. And I did it and we fucking killed it. So my photos are all the promo photos of the whole like four songs that we filmed for him and everything. That's so sick. Congratulations. Thank you. And that was like about two years ago. And that was like the biggest thing that ever happened to me. And I was like, oh, shit. And Erickson, shout out to him. He's like, you fucking killed it. I took care of all the cameras, made sure everything was completely like, like perfect. And everything turned out perfect. Like, yeah. It was amazing. It was cool. That's when I was like, oh, this is fucking dope. And now it's racking millions. It's still like hitting really high numbers. And um, everything just started going up from there. Like. Narcos Mexico, I did some stuff with uh, Netflix Latin America. Today I have a huge meeting right now. I can't disclose who, Damn. but I hope I get it. Um, no, we will know when, when yeah. we turn the mic yeah. on. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, I just finished. You know, I did my first commercial last year. I directed my first commercial. The 7-Eleven one, right? No, for Stray Jalisco. Oh, no, I didn't do that one. Everyone thinks I did that commercial. It's so crazy. Yeah, I, th um, I, I thought I, I thought you did it because well, maybe your homegirl was in it. I don't know what it yeah, was. Yeah, a lot of, you know, uh, shout out to Janai. She came out in it. Uh, she's amazing. But the style of the cinematography and everything is super me. So everybody thought I did it. Yeah. It was fucking hilarious. But no, it wasn't me. But some shit like that will come. But I did Estrella Jalisco. I did an LBGTQ awareness commercial for them. Nice. And that set me off to like just boom, boom, boom. Now I've been like just doing a lot of big shit. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you been that's I I've seen all this. I was like, man, I was like, I want I want to get everyone and come talk about this. It's dope. Congratulations, well deserved though, man, for real. Thank like, you. well Thank deserved you. and congratulations. Keep, I mean, 
let everybody let this be another example to everybody out there that yeah. it's like you you apply yourself to the shit you want you gonna start going places it might not be right away but a while. i got a quick question so you said you were homeless right yeah, at one I was point homeless. how do you get these expensive cameras because um. these shits ain't cheap i don't know if you know like yeah. the ones we got here like i mean they're just yeah my my, quick my ones. Fucking and i know you got some dope shit probably yeah my sony's like worth like would you start 6, off with 000. which one was your first one where you're like it's worth investing what's what i'm trying to tell tell people like yo like i was homeless but i knew that buying um, this was gonna make me more money well just, like, we I bought all these cameras knowing that eventually it's gonna pay off for sure well it didn't happen as easy as i wish it did um I was in IT, so I, I actually, from being homeless, I fucking hustled my way out. I used to sell drugs. I used to fucking do it all to try to survive. And then, like, at one point, everything got too hot where I was living. And um, everybody knew we were slanging, and shit was getting too hot and heavy in that, in that aspect that I had to jam. And I had to leave. So I left to Vegas for four and a half years. I live with my mom over there. Um, she moved out there when I was 16. So I went and met her up by my 20s. Yeah. I've been 21 over there. So then I started working in real estate over there. I got into all that shit for a while. And then <clears throat> the market crashed during the Obama presidency. And, like, I was out of work. So I started applying for jobs here. But at the same time, I was going to college. I was going for computer science. Um, I was already, like, trying to look at IT jobs. So I started applying like crazy here in L.A. And I got a job at Sony Pictures. And um, doing their IT department, I was one of the main repair techs there. Um, and I had a team of, like, four. So I was there for four years, and that's where I picked up the camera. And it was at work. It was a Sony and I'm using theirs? So you started yeah. off with, like, can I borrow this? Yeah, my homegirl's a rapper. Shout out to Reverie. Take pictures with their... Yeah. Hey, on their budget. That's yeah. what's up. So then once... Exactly. So I started using their camera to take photos of my homegirl, who's a rapper. Shout out to Reverie. Check her out. She's oh, from Nella, too. Her on. Shout out to Reverie. Yeah. And um, I started taking photos of her, and everybody started liking them. So I started getting booked by her friends that were also rappers. And then literally... Three, four years later, all my friends were rappers. I was like, what the <laughs> fuck just happened? <laughs> like, and that's You're what I'm talking about, tears. Like, like, yeah. like, like, tears of life. Like, I wasn't kicking in the hood anymore. Now all my friends were rappers. And then it's like, all my friends were creators. And then next, you know, my homies were, like, engineers. And, like, she just started evolving that I had to learn, like, every aspect of, like, film and, like, photo. And how can I help my homies? That was, like, my whole thing. Like, how can I help my homies? I'm already good, like, right here working, you know? I get any job I want, like. You know, I can go anywhere I want. So what can I do now? And I started getting obsessed over the camera. And then fucking one day, I, uh, Rev asked me if I was down to just go on tour with her and just change my life for a little bit. And I was like, oh, shit. Like, do I want to, like, just literally switch my whole life around? Yeah. So I did. And I said, fuck it. If I'm going to travel the world, like, I've been to 14 countries with her. Like, that shit's crazy. For someone 30 years old and be able to say I fucking travel the world, I did. I worked hard for it. And I went off with her. <coughs> yeah, you were out there like Europe and shit. Yeah, we're in Paris. We're in Paris for, for almost a month at a time. Uh, like, I mean, in France, period. But in Paris, I think we were there for like a week and a half. In total, four months out of the year, we were touring for like five years. We were total. So, like, those girls are like my life, you know. I, I said, fuck it. And shit just started popping off. Like, and I never went back to work. And it's been seven years did now. You, did you... Uh like, cause I've taken a, like, I've fucked with a couple of these cameras. I yeah. don't know shit, but like you and Ray, sometimes I'm like, hey, Ray, can you fucking do the exposure here? Did you take classes or you just kind of learn by you, the go? Because YouTube. YouTube, that's why I tell people yeah. YouTube, Skillshare, those shits will teach you. Like, and hands on. I think yeah. hands on, cause a lot of, I didn't have no mentors. I didn't have no one fucking telling me how to use a camera. I had no one fucking. It was like, organic. Just me by myself wanting to look dope. Like, <clears throat> I'm like, what fucking, what can this camera do? And I would, like, look it up, and I'd be like, if this camera can do this shit, it can make me hella money. Like, I need to figure out how to get my shit to look like that. And then little by little, I started realizing, oh, it's gaffing. It's the fucking lighting. It's the positioning. It's the way you, you place the cameras. It's the way you frame it. And now it's like I started noticing that there were so many elements that goes into just holding a fucking camera. And I just started training the shit out of my eye. And I was like, I need to fucking get this right. I need to get this like, right. Like, would you walk down here and you were like, man, these was fucking up. The lighting's bad. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking I think you need, you, need one, you need one more right here. Right in the middle? Yeah. All right, all and right. Yeah, that would do better because if you have three subjects here and if you had like a, a backlight for her light, then you'd be straight. So I would put one right there in that corner right there. You don't got no hair, so it doesn't matter. I know, but hair. it's called a hair light. I'm just fucking <laughs> with you. <laughs> just to give them a highlight right here so it separates yeah, them from, from the background, you know? Perfect. See? And then, and then you okay. be Yeah, they can see all your white hairs. Fuck you. Because then you have this right now. It's too harsh. And right now, like, probably this is hitting me like this. Yeah. yeah. It's first time, so thank yeah, you. Yeah, no, you're good. <laughs> 
But yeah, those are the kind of things I had to train my mind. Yeah, because that's why I asked you, because I know you came in here and you're saying, like, all right. I know I don't talk shit, though. I learned to, like, stay in my lane. I'm not that, like, I know it all kind of Yeah, Xavier, or not everybody's toxic like you. I know. You see how used to just people going in here is like, what's up, little bitch? No, it's because I'm a painter, and, like, now as a painter, I Oh, now he's a painter. Wow, now he's a fucking painter. I've said this. I used to be a. To his defense, that's a fucked up wall. That's a fucked up line right there. Everywhere I go now, I just look at lines like they oh the chalan sucks. They, they didn't put tape they didn't put why. tape dude yeah. i'm just they were out the, lazy yeah i'm they just like when, with the brush yeah once you do a job like you know what you do <laughs> come on someone brings weed and said it's good he's on and it's not good what are you gonna say you're like he's fired <laughs> no he's the one will not tell you <laughs> no i will not but not. he's the one but, call you he's the one has called me out on my shit be like okay, yo put okay, that shit so away so you're telling me i should be more aggressive and be like nah you shouldn't do that no, you, I, I think I think it's awesome the way you are. You shouldn't listen to this asshole over here. That's Dude, fucking. Don't listen to me. That, that yeah, I just, agree. He, he wants you to I come in there and be like, so put this bitch ass light over here. <laughs> what the fuck is you over there? They're yeah. working on lighting over there. I'm like, I'm gonna let them. I know how to step back and let people do their thing. You know, I'm not. I'm not like that. <laughs> yeah, fucking real painters don't use tape either. What's the next one, Kate? We have Damn, a couple. That's a good one. Real fucking painters don't use. Hey, that's probably true. Damn. Thank you so much, Damn, DJ Boss. Thank you, homie. Pre- yeah. st- what is it? HBO uh, Access still going strong. Yeah, bro. That fool well, pays for that. What are you watching right now? I got. I'm on. I stopped watching. I stopped watching that shit. Weak dog. Kick him out, bro. He ain't watching. We nah, don't I watch all this shit, but I just, I just, I <laughs> couldn't. Succession, bro. Succession's dope. Bro, my girlfriend's been trying to get me to watch that shit too, and I'm like, nah. It's good. It's You're good. Like, it's a crazy every time rich she puts family. that show on, that's the time where I'm like, whoop, well, time to fall asleep early. You're fucking weak, dog. <laughs> bro, it's dead ass, bro. I'll be like, yeah, I'm getting into it, and then. Bro, it's good. The it's fuck a out, dog. She's like, for real? For real, you're not gonna watch it with me. It's a, it's a good. <laughs> she does tell you that. <laughs> like I just like I'm tired. I smoke, I smoke sixteen blunts. Damn. I smoke sixteen At joints work. all day. Yeah. Hey, I yesterday the other guest, <laughs> yesterday the guest was like from, from the Green Thumb show was like, he's like huh? he's like huh? we we're telling about joint joint intake, and then I'm just like yeah, dude, he's like we all have a number here. I'm like I'm like number two compared to be real. I was like, he he has he has the highest at eighteen joints a day. What? And then he was just like, what about you? And then he was like, take a guess. He's like, I don't know, probably like three. And I was like, nah, bro, I'm like sixteen on a bad day. For real, you you smoke sixteen joints a day? Yeah, yeah. easy. Like he he got here smoking a joint. And even yeah, when, if, even that was the one. The one, one I had one. It was like already yeah. my oh, second yeah, one. Yeah, and even yeah. if it's his first one. It's That's still good. fucking early. Like, I took a dab, but he's smoking a whole joint. He'll come up here, smoke a joint right now, smoke a joint. He'll do Dr. Green Thumb, smoke a joint. He'll go on his live, smoke two joints yeah, bre- with these motherfuckers. Did you have, like, Pokemon breathing cards. problems? No, actually, he, he runs I, a lot. I, I actually, yeah. I run three miles a day. Oh, my God. Shout out to you. This is... So. And he's a, a functioning stoner. Yeah. No, no. Everyone in this building is... No, and even, and even with, like, and even when I, when I had COVID and I got a... Uh, what is it? What it, was it? Blood clot in my lung? Well, yeah, I think. Yeah. Oh, shit, you got a blood clot. <laughs> <laughs> as a result of that shit <laughs> and um yeah like um <clears throat> my my lungs are great thankfully like i gotta i i always i always learned one thing i was like yeah if i if i can keep good cardio i'm like that works my lungs out for me to you know shit ain't fucking up you know not only that smoking good weed too can yeah. i think i don't chingo the pesticides <laughs> yeah that's true you know i have a, i have <laughs> i'm pretty another. spoiled here i mean <laughs> i know right that's the reason i smoke a lot of weed and take dabs here because i get it from these fuckers and i know that <laughs> they don't fuck up their lungs yeah, yeah. i'm not getting no shit from especially the, the way we anymore. go in bro like you see in the tub you're like yeah but it's just from one of b-real's friends yeah <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah they come out with bags, one of like, friends. that's true because like i trust you guys with the weed but you know sometimes i'd be seeing weed that looks too crazy that i'm like this shit can't be like natural yeah. A lot of, yeah. All pesticide out of the crystals that look like fake shit on top of it. It looks weird. Yeah, now we were smoking Red Line Reserve today. You hear about that? To Red Line Reserve. Look at um, I saw this yesterday, last night when I got home from fucking picking this shit up. Some kid diet smoking weed and fentanyl out of high school. Now, on purpose, you put fentanyl no. in the weed? Or I mean, I don't think on it? purpose, but I think it was laced. But that just sounds crazy. Like, how do you First not all, see white stuff? Like, how do I you know. not. Like to me, just crazy. Do you well, not like crush up your weed? No, you it's just... probably dank ass weed. If you look, if you put some fucking like fentanyl and dank ass weed, it looks like it's part of the. But weed. like, why yeah. would you? That sounds like a waste of money. Or if you just crack like it, if the weed's good or bad, or you're trying that's to get somebody it good. wanted to kill him, dog. That's yeah. what it is. If you're trying to kill someone, that's different. But to me, it's like yeah. you're slanging fucking. You're losing money. It's like some, the, nah, bro. Somebody like bro. it's like saying, do you think Mac Miller wanted fentanyl? 
his, no, he his wanted coke. coke. You no, think it he... wasn't coke. He, he wanted he wanted oxy's. He was asking for oxy's. I read the whole thing because that guy went to jail. I don't know. Wasn't it coke? They were I lazy. thought it was coke. Yeah, no. I thought it was coke. No, it was oxy's. But it might might be maybe he wanted fentanyl too. He was asking for everything. He did ask for coke, but he asked for a bunch of shit from three different people, and two of them were two of them were were um two of them were strippers or like IG models that brought it to him. He three people delivered shit to him, but the FBI looked through the messages. And one of them was that one dude, and he was the one selling the blue pills because he said, I have the blue pills. And when they got him, they, oh, they had, he had more blue pills. They found out that the blue pills were the ones who killed them. They went after this dude. This guy got 25 to life. The piece of shit motherfucker was still selling drugs, the same blue pills after he knew Mac Miller died. Because you know how the FBI is still looking at you because they're haciendo con pendejo for a couple of years because they got yeah. to catch a case on you. But was still selling drugs, the same pills, knowing Mac Miller died. There was two people. It was like it was an older man from uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. And then a younger cat, and that younger cat was selling it to him. So it was like a kind of chain, but they went all down to that white, to that white boy from Scottsdale. It's Arizona. so sad that it took Mac Miller's death for everybody to be more aware of this, but this shit happens like every day. Yeah. Well, you yeah. know who else? Everywhere. Who you know who else got arrested? C minus was telling me, uh, the guy from the Wire arrested four people in his death. Oh yeah, because he got um, he got a heroin, like, right? Another another heroin fentanyl yeah. overdose. But yeah, when you're wild. yeah, that's the only time they care is when you're rich. Like it's crazy. Like where the fuck out of nowhere fentanyl's a like a big thing and it's and it's sad to, to know that China. it's like a pharmaceutical Coming from isn't China. it a pharmaceutical coming from China China <laughs> Chinese people Chinese people <laughs> oh my god I forgot no, I was saying that they definitely coming from China China makes fentanyl and they don't I was saying that shit like a country. thousand times it's illegal in their country but yet they make it where is it getting where is it getting sent to I must have said that shit ten, like I said that shit yesterday I think it's, I think it's US yesterday. made no, I mean they, they they got some cooks out here, so they cook oh, it they out showing, here now. But... They showed the cartel how to make it. Yeah, they showed. China it... know how. China showed the cartel how to make it. Here, give it to these fuckers. There's guys. a there's yeah. a documentary on that. Yeah, well, I saw China it. wants us to go down. It's that simple. They go down. They come. Oh, you know what? Chinese fools don't really do a lot of drugs, bro. I don't really see it. Hell it's no. very it's very rare. They die. You get killed if you do weed in in China, bro. It's not because. Don't you get like arrested crazy in Japan? Because you know what's crazy? Like I, I, I've met a lot of Asian fools, dog. Like yeah, yeah. And those, fools don't, those fools are like they don't even fuck around, dog. Like it's very rare. If I, I, don't know. Someone correct me. I think I could count with my hand how many Asian homeless I've seen. None. It's very rare, dog. And, and like, if it is, you know what it's for? Liquor. Some of them love to drink. Yeah, that's like true. Vietnamese fools. Like Vietnamese fools. I like how you just generalize it. It's like yeah, Vietnamese fools. They love to drink. Because when Who I else lived, to drink? no, Xavier? because when I lived in when I live in Found Valley, <laughs> when I live in Found Valley, there's a lot over there. And uh, what's that sandwich place? Lee's, Lee's sandwiches. Yeah, there was always some. That's Vietnamese. the kickback. That's the kickback uh, spot. Yeah, that's the kickback spot. And every time you go, it's like hello people in the corner kicking <laughs> yeah, in. Yeah, homeless chess. people. Yeah, <laughs> <fucking> <laughs> homeless <laughs> people <laughs> kicking in. I, I don't remember them being homeless. Hoodlums. So. <laughs> people shouldn't be there. Like, it's I meet fucking, you at Lee's. Yeah, why, at twelve o'clock. Well, I'd hate to be that chi- that Asian fool that owns Lee's, and there's always people outside my hey, house. Hey, no I've been seeing a lot of Asian fools. They, they be throwing some hot ass water water at bums. They'd be like, "Get out of my business." It's just like, Damn. that's crazy. I was like, man, you seen it? Like personally, I saw, it, saw bro. that shit. Yeah, cause it, cause that fool was like polluting his wall with shit. But what's the next question? Uh, <laughs> Salute to you. Appreciate you. Uh, appreciate you watching the show. What's the next one? Damn. Cause you're probably fucking weirdo. <laughs> that shit's so funny. I'm not gonna tell them anything. You're probably fucking weirdo. Damn. And you probably deserve to get blocked. So, so sorry. <laughs> That's Damn. all I'm going to say. I don't know. And, you, so and, I, can't and, ha- I can't be in no, your no, defense. No, no, he just said like multiple people blocked him. Like it's not just one person. And, and one of the people he named, I don't even talk to. So like, I don't Damn. know. He probably deserved it, bro. There you go. Damn. <laughs> I mean, if he's still trying at this level to get in contact with you, like, God damn, fool, come yeah, on. sorry. At this point. Yeah. Oh, oh th- sh- thank you for the donation. <laughs> <laughs> thank you for the donation. <laughs> we might hit her up if you buy some merch at flavorsbyhisone.com. <laughs> 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 like, look for you buy four candles right now. We'll DM her. If you buy four candles right now, actually we'll DM this chick. Be like, yo, can you unfollow my homie? <laughs> no, we just get, no. She we'll, won't even know who I am. Or she, I'll do it, dog. <laughs> we'll get a video of her saying what up back. All right. All right yeah, that's, what, that's, that's asking like, for a lot, dog. Video verification for five hundred. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. The validation people require these days, man. Funny. What's the next one? 
<laughs> Damn. Have you worked with three plates from Ridgecrest? <laughs> don't say you don't know this fool. Nah, I don't know. But when he was little. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Who's that? When he was little, his this whole life. This guy is the most interesting guy in the world, apparently. He's, he's, he's one, one of the one Michael friends. Jackson gloves. He sits here with us and he... <laughs> He's the is this homie. the most? You don't know. Yeah, he's the the, defi- the yeah, definition of you. cap, <laughs> like what? the definition of cap, like he he's lived a thousand lives. He used to be a paper boy in the poultry shop. His uncle has the car Tupac was shot in. Fucking he, no. has, he has a glove. He has a glove that Michael Jackson threw out of the glove. He was in a reggae band. He had he dreads. Was, he had dreads. It, it's he, the, he he used to be. He used awesome. to work at. No no no. Wait up. He used to work at a tattoo shop. He's fully. He was an apprentice. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Huh? The, okay. The dress. Some of them check out. We'll give you that. But this is like this whole. Did you story. see the one he where he looked to believe all? He this. looked like one where he was looking like Hector and father. Yeah. Yeah. But he was all fat. He had the little glasses. <laughs> the reason we call him three plates is because he swears he can do three forty fives on each side back uh, then. That's so funny. Yeah, that's a lot. I don't know if you know. But now he just eats. Now he just eats three. Yeah. Now he just eats three plates of food. Yeah. So yeah. we just roast them now. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. hey, but he, this book is saying though. Yeah. Like he, he like he can like I, if he really applied himself. I we've told them I was like fool. If you really tried it and you really took it serious, I was like I'll book you the studio time here at Be Real Studio. Yeah. I was like I'll fucking yeah I'll help you produce this shit. You know what I mean? But you gotta sing fucking like fucking reggae, co- really good and ba- reggae or baladas, yeah. whatever yeah. he's good at. But he has that voice. I swear to God, he's yeah. done it. He's people, like, like, people you know, super chat him like well, if he's on, they'll be like ten dollars. Tommy, sing this one, and they'll sing it. Yeah, but he's like a jukebox. <laughs> he's like a broken jukebox. Cause he start and he always goes back to his normal, like the ones he knows for sure. He's like the ones I'm gonna be able to. Yeah, know but he's like sure. your typical. Like, have you ever have a good a good uncle or or cousin or tia that sings, and you always tell him like you should go on a tengo talento mucho talento. No, he's that guy where you're like, like yo, you should go on American Idol, but low key you won't know. You know, at the end of the day, he ain't gonna win. <laughs> he's gonna be the one that they don't yeah, kick off. Just, on we purpose. just hype him up for no reason. Yeah. You know. He gets a lot of hype. You gotta hype up your friends. Yeah. Bro. There's always one in like the TV shows or in the game shows that really sucks, but they still keep them in there for yeah, entertainment. Yeah, for no reason. Yeah, for no, you're like, that fool suck. Why is he still there? It's for the spies. <laughs> like, you know, they just want that fucking excitement there. What's what's the next one, Kate? There you go, bro. Damn, it's fucked that's up. That's for you. No, he's talking about fentanyl because George Floyd died from fentanyl. So he's going back to the China. Is that in a conspiracy? Uh, well, not that he died from fentanyl, but he was on fentanyl when he died. What? That's not a conspiracy. That's 100%. That's facts. Yeah, the autopsy. When when they died, they, they did an autopsy because they have to. And that was the, that was the defense for... Uh, so he was doing recreational fentanyl, Xavier? You expect well, no, or, or no, or was he was it? doing drugs. He was, he was, <laughs> no, but th- th- that was... <laughs> like, my question is, was it that they gave it to him at the hospital because they give you fentanyl uh, at the hospital? I don't know, but but uh, that was a defense for David... Uh, David Chauvin was the guy, that, that, was the guy that killed him. Yeah, no, he, yeah. he did time. Yeah, but the guy, that was, that was their defense. The defense was that he didn't technically kill him because the guy was on fucking a speedball, which is heroin and crack at the same time. So when they, when they checked what? his body, he had both those drugs. That was a defense. I'm not saying that's true. That's right. Yeah. He lost. It is what it is. But their defense was like, yo, this fool was so drugged now out. he's a lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not, fucker. <laughs> She's painter. asking me where this came from. He's Every time I bring something up, it's because someone paid five bucks <laughs> and you're you like, where's this from? <laughs> and I'm letting you know where this is coming from. If I was wrong, let him know. I'm if guaranteed. There's no need to get angry, about. dog. You're over here telling me like, yo, this fool thinks he's a lawyer. I don't think I'm a lawyer. <laughs> No, but I, you've been three jobs here today. Hmm? You've, been, you've been three well, jobs a today. A painter. <laughs> Am I Tommy now? No, there was something else you mentioned that I, I, He's I already. He's a dreamer. Oh yeah, that, a dreamer. That, 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 <laughs> the fuck? You think I voted for that? You think I? I did apply. I did apply. I did apply. Yeah, full yeah. time. I did apply, and I am full time. It's <laughs> <laughs> so funny. All right, what's the next one? That's it. Fucking ex Phantom, bro. Fentanyl killed George Floyd. That's my mom's case, in a way. <laughs> I'm not, that's not, that's, that was their defense, fool. Um, I'm telling you what they said. That's, that's, that's what you call cutting up what he said. <laughs> no, that's 100% what the lawyer said. 100% what was their, their Fool, defense. Fool, if was. you pay a lawyer, his job is to defend you, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm saying that was what their defense was. Never said it was true. Never said they should look into it. I'm just like, that's what they said. You, that's I'm pretty sure he's on. If you died and they looked it up and you were on K and you were on Coke, they would be like, Knock "Whoa, my wood, bro." He Fuck was. V- <coughs> if I died, Not I'm just saying. Bro. Obviously, it's starting to get good. Yeah, but their job is to figure out or try to find why they didn't kill you. 
and they're going to do anything in their power to be like, well, he <laughs> smokes every day. He goes on his show and he says he drinks and smokes. 60 blunts? Come listen on. to Listen to all this. <laughs> yeah, you see, you don't to pick joints. everything you say, dog. 16, 16 you don't think they're gonna? You don't think they're going to do that when, he, when you apply for citizenship? They're going to yeah. be like, look, we don't smoke the same. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to call you. I'm going to have to call you. The second I apply, I'm be like, yo, bro, we got to fucking Take you ban that account down. for a little bit. My Instagram's going to be deleted. <laughs> I'm going to be in my... They do do um, investigations, yeah, right? I mean, they know I got a DUI. <laughs> the fuck? They know. They're the ones who gave it to me. What am I hiding? What the fuck? You don't think they know? Damn. <laughs> well, I, I don't hide that. anything. Yeah, I don't have it. Man. They, no fuck, <laughs> they fucking, they give you a cactus test. Yeah, bro. These motherfuckers know everything. Hey, I saw the same dude that, at the Swami no. the other day. The, at the, a different Swami? The guy who's, no. He goes, he goes. You go uh, to all the Swami. No, he goes to the fucking, um. The, the the Pasadena City College and the Rose Bowl Swami. So it's the same dude. I guess he lives out there in Pasadena, but he was talking to the same cactus dealer, bro. And he didn't say it this time, but all right, so th- let me put you in the story. So I I, I have this resale thing. I do, I like, I've gotten into resale heavy on my site. I have my own merch thing, but I have like this resale vintage section. So I'll go to like thrift shops and like, like uh, swap meets and different flea markets and go. I know what I'm looking for, 90s kids shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I get that and it does well on my site. My store is going great. I'm there early. So I get to see all the crazy people who are there like early as fuck and they got their own business. <laughs> They're all doing and, the same yeah, shit you're doing. Yeah, but they yeah. Got, but some people like furniture, some people like other shit. And, so you know. They all have their niche and shit. Yeah, they all have their niche. So I'm looking for certain things. And there's always plant dealers there, like plant dealers. You know what I mean? Like there's always people that <laughs> sell plants. And there's this senor like. He's just like, it's fucking 6.45 a.m. And this put tagged along. He's like in his 60s. He's in his 60s. Yeah, he's pretty. He was then a, he was like, yeah. tells the guy, hola, mucho gusto. He was like, si, sí, si. Sí. He's like, he was like, me gusta que usted cuando usted está aquí. Es que parecía la verdad, estoy adicto al cactus. Like, was, <laughs> but he fucking yells this shit out. Like, he's like, estoy adicto al cactus, la verdad. And then like, we're like, what the fuck? What does he mean by bad cactus? The, a fucking cactus. cactus. Like he's, a, he's he's a cat. Okay, so you know how at the Swami people sell a bunch of shit. Yeah, yeah. So he Someone, just, he's just saying he's addicted to. No, the but plant. he's he's got he's got a whole lot of cactus. He sells cactus, and you know how some people got plants, some yeah. people got fucking random shit. He's the cactus dealer there, but he's just yelled it out. And the reason we laugh about it because. It's six in the morning. Me six forty-five in the morning. Yeah, me neither. High. And this <laughs> like, guy got this energy for the love of cactus, bro. Cactus. Like that, he was like, "This que yo parecí la verdad es que yo estoy adicto al cactus." <laughs> like this fucking yells it. They like me <laughs> just looked at each other and started laughing. We're like, "Yo, this is fucking." Did we just hear this fool hey, talk that, about I want him. To, like I want him to work for me. Like. I want to fucking. I wanted to ask him like if he was there, but he. I don't know if he worked there. And then I was like, man, it was busy. I don't know what it is, bro. People in the plants booth at the Swami. It just get popping. Lucrative, there. dog. Yeah, I don't know what it we is. Found bro. Out it was lucrative. We saw that one documentary. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, they stole that plant. <laughs> dog, this plant go over for what six thousand? How much was that? BJ plant? house plant seven thousand dollars. Seven no thousand dollars for a house plant. And imagine it dies. Mine, I have two that died. I would be pissed if I paid seven racks for it. Yeah, no, I mean, they'd be stealing them. There, people are stealing them. But yeah, there's there's people that are that passionate about certain things. Like, I don't know, it's 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 a fucking trip. I see some crazy shit. I've I've gotten to see some shit that's like a blast from the past. Well, I also find it weird when I find people that aren't passionate about shit. Yeah, that blows my mind more. I rather hear people be like, "Yo, I love this shit." I'm like, "Cool, good for you." But when I hear, I'm like, I just go home, go to work, and I love Netflix. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watched I've been watched fucking three seasons of something yeah. and I have nothing else to watch. I'm like that's yeah, that sucks. Like, like you I don't like, a passion. Even like you don't love puzzles, dogs, you don't love anything. Yeah, even if this person said I do I do puzzles every day. I'm like, yeah. well, I love I love that you love puzzles, but when you just tell me I just fucking go to work and Yeah. Just wait for the weekend to get drunk. That like, sounds that sucks. sad. That sounds sad. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Yeah. So you gotta be passionate about something, bro. I go home passionate about my business. I get work. I can work on this shit all day. And that's how people get all like psycho. I feel but that's like what it is. You're supposed to make your hobby or your whatever that's you like in your passion. When they don't, that partner doesn't have like a hobby and shit, and it's like their, their whole life like revolves around a relationship. That 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 shit that shit is scary. I've seen that with people before. For real. Like that's why you have to have a hobby and identity, you know, of your own and shit, and contribute. You know, and the, fine and shit. It's funny that you bring that up, but like a lot, I feel like a lot of people that are like our parents' generation, you know what I mean? Because we're all like between twenty eight, well, Xavier, almost thirty now. 
So, you know, so what is it? Between that age. I just turned 29, homie. Like I'm not said, dying yet. Like I, I said, ain't dying yet, fool. Like I ain't I dying said, yet. I got yeah. some You're life in me, dog. That's now. my last year, bro. Let me live it up, yeah, dog. You'll see me at the club in, still popping bottles. Yeah, 30s fuck. is awesome, bro. I don't know what you're tripping. Yeah, you know, know who says yeah. that? 30-year-olds. Yeah, it's true. I, I, don't, I feel young as fuck still. Huh? Right? Uh, okay. I feel young as shit. Do you feel young still? Yeah, I, 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 I mean, shit. I was believing myself that I was a lot younger with the shit I was doing a couple months ago. Should have seen him <laughs> yesterday. No, you should have seen him yesterday breaking a sweat with this table. I've never seen him sweat so much in my life. Even B was like, look at this fool. <laughs> Like I'm young, <laughs> yeah, bro. No, he was holding it down. He was holding it down. No, no, no. He was holding it down, but he did. Yeah, break bro. The, the fuck is this shit's on the ledge, bro? I'm the only one that could carry it. Bro. What the fuck? Like, yo, he's acting like he could have been holding this shit on the second floor. I'm like, look, fool. This is what I was made for. God fucking made me big, like, to fucking make sure that I could fill these certain positions uh, up. Uh, fucking Carol's hand on. Oh, you saw Carol. Carol. That's gets how one you know he, cut, one he has cut. the most non-working hands ever, bro. Like, if, bro, this is how you know because he fragile. He, I mean, he's so fragile. Like at the moment of hard work, he's like, I got cut, I got cut. He got <laughs> one little cut, and he tried to hit up HR. He, tried, <laughs> he was telling him, be real, like, yo, I need unemployment. It's like history month, no sé qué tanto. Yeah, what? <laughs> that shit is funny. <laughs> hey, no, and what was funny was his hair got cut. Uh, like he was like a girl. Like he was oh, like, my hair, my hair, I thought about no, no, I helped him out. I helped him out. I don't like because he, he has long ass dress. And it got caught under the fucking little the the tables as we were moving it. He's like, my hair, my hair, my hair. You know, and I, instead of me helping, I just started laughing because I just I'm like, oh my god, this is gold to me. I wanted to start filming. He goes, <laughs> <laughs> he, goes he goes rushing to his aid. He's like, oh Carl. He's like, let me help you out. Because he's got dreads and he considers like his dreads his superpower. He thinks he's like, Her is it Hercules? Who's the fool? That well, uh, he's the only Muslim I know that has dreads. Well, Muslim. Muslim. Yeah. You, know <laughs> you got to admit though, fucking those shits are hard to upkeep. They're gold to them, you know? Like. Oh, yeah. He's sponsored by Dawn. Yeah? Yeah. To clean his dreads. That's what he uses. Dawn. Yeah, that's fucking sick. <laughs> I know. Dawn. I had a homegirl who was like doing training her hair and it was like constantly like this all day. All fucking day. You should yeah. be doing anything. Damn. What a fucking day, dude. No se le quema. It's just fucking. Nah, like, you have to train them. When you train them, you have to do them yourself or like hire somebody to fucking. I'm gonna just implant them them one day after I shave my head, Xavier. Are we gonna do that, Yuzo? Them, and then I'm we're gonna come in here and just with dreads, bro. Are we gonna do that? Like, like, what's his name? Jason Ellis. Like, oh, he had a haircut every fucking every week. He fucking got <laughs> something pasted on. We're gonna do a fucking show with every week. Are we gonna do that? Carlos yeah. said that he'll pay for us to get dreads. I would do it, but you it's just, it's it? gonna like, be bro, glued on. Oh, he, yeah, right. Well, no shit, bald. you're bald. No you're bald. shit. No, I'm saying, but it's gonna be glued on your shit too, stupid. Yeah, I don't care. It'll it's come off. I'm pretty sure it's not permanent. And even then, I think they, they put like the glue bald cap. Yeah, on. like you act like it's like it'd be cool. Me, you, and Cairo are right here with dread. We'll be shaking it like you could just play some forty. <laughs> hey, we can we can do a cleaning. Hey, we can dead ass sell a cleaning tutorial and just put Dawn in soap bottles <laughs> and say we'll just have Dawn in the front. Right? Oh my, that's crazy. <laughs> We could clean a duck. He said he'll pay. He said he'll pay for it. That's what they advertise. I've always wanted to have that. So they, 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 it's the one that saves animals. Yeah. yeah. It yeah, takes all the grease off. Little. Was that the last one, Kate? Yeah. yeah. No, we got two more. All right, let's read those two before uh, we ever close it out. This goes back. $5. Yo, thank you. Much love back. This is the same guy he called the weirdo. <laughs> hey. it's, it's always them. <laughs> Shout out to you, homie. Uh, I'll like give you, you I give you hey, E for effort. Loki looks like you support. I low key recommend they unblock you. That's just me though. I don't know how creepy e you were. I don't know how e creepy you were in your defense. I need to hear their side, but it's in what I've heard from your side. You don't you know, bro. Like what if he was sending dick pics like, or something? That's why I said, oh, <laughs> hey, talking about that. I know. Yeah, what if, what if he that. was sending Wait dick pics or something? Talking shit, about that, you know, unsolicited dick pics now. Maybe well, two years. Two years in jail. Good. Two years in jail, bro. Fucking hate those. Hey, what about unsolicited <laughs> news? I've gotten tits I don't want to see. Like those hard ass tits. Yeah, you know, saw my shorties and I was like, yo, I was bro. like, those are some hard I think I think it, it, sh it should it should apply though. Just saying, yo, I've shown these, so I'm like, bro, this girl keeps sending me these tits and I was like, yo, those are some like, hard ass titties. I was like, but, but was it like fully <laughs> nude or just the booty? Oh yeah, she was doing oh, all this nude. crazy no, shit. No. She was like, I wanna then I want I think, you to make I me think cream. It apply. I, think it I still hit the like button though. You know, because you can't be rude. No! You can't be rude! No! That's solicited. You can't be rude. If you like it, it's solicited. <laughs> Boo, they don't hit the like button every dick pic they get, dog. Every girl gets dick pics. You delete it and you write back. I hope you. But what if you send them like 
You know, you guys know you Barry? You guys know Barry? No. No, there's no. I've gotten into nudes that I've shown Nizon where even Nizon was like, Ew. remember the one I posted about the viejita? Yeah. An that was bad. An old lady, yeah. An old lady, and she See, said, she I said every time she heard me, she heard me on the, she every, she I said get, every time I she heard me on the every mic, time I she creamed in her ears. <laughs> <laughs> Very, I felt like I needed HR. I almost <laughs> it I was, called Instagram. I felt I was violated like, oh. him showing me that shit. I was like, damn, dude, this See, is. See, then I, I think it applies. Then. Should it apply? Yeah. Two should. years for bitches yeah. for sending me ugly nudes? Yeah, they're unsolicited. Oh. I think it's the same. Dick pics. It's literally said dick pics. Unsolicited dick pics. I also, I also but think. If a guy sends you a, a, a picture of their chest that have nipples just like women, would that be the same thing? They don't See, have the same effect. Yeah. Nobody gets a boner for fucking guy tits. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you know I what I mean? Like, there's another thing. Okay, what if you send like a picture of you guys know Barry? The no. black fool with the big dick? You've got oh, yeah, a picture yeah, yeah, of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His name is Barry. What if I send that? Is that considered an unsolicited oh, dick pic? That's, that's, that's someone that's else's true. dick. Xavier's been trying to get him hey, on the show. What is that? You gotta that's always that's find him with a loophole. A, a loophole. Is that a loophole? So it would be like someone taking a picture of you, but if you take it of yourself, that it's you soliciting okay. that. Okay. Well, I brought this up. I was you know I, I, I had told her, well, well. Uh, today I heard on Power 106 that uh, Nelly accidentally posted that. a video of him getting his dick sucked and everyone's giving him shit because for some reason he's black and he's supposed to have a big dick. So everyone's trolling him being like, yo, that shit is fucking small, whoop-de-whoop. And I'm just like, I haven't Xavier seen the video. Zoomed in. No, I haven't he, seen the video because I he just did, got he, here. He but did it was, by accident, right? Yeah, it was according. I don't, are those accidents? Have you ever posted something on, know, Insta- bro, no, on Instagram? Sometimes, Honestly, I'll be honest with you. I, I've almost probably done that once. Like, you know, the photos are there. You're scrolling for them when you're about to post. And then you're like, oh, what the fuck? Why is that even there? Oh, yeah. When you have nudes in your phone. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's happened. You got to fucking store them away, bro. Because if you're fucking actively on that shit, that shit has like happened He was straight getting too. a blowjob. Like Nelly's straight getting a blowjob and he's like, his dick's he's in the He's probably recording it on Instagram and forgot to save it. Or he yeah. was. And then he just uploaded it. Yeah, it yeah, was it can, it, yeah. And he, took, and he took it down right away. I can see how, right? Yeah. I can see that could happen. Yeah. Like, I don't see it like a. But, like, as a post, I'm like, yes, 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 yes. Yeah, he did on his story. But he you know hashtagged what? it. Hey, yeah. for, for the record, Instagram has a better <laughs> camera than the iPhone itself. So, I don't, you know, you could do the zoom in way easier. <laughs> like, it's, I He's get getting it. a lot of hate right now for I having a small it. dick of corn. Everybody. <laughs> and Xavier's I haven't seen right it. there. I haven't seen it. I don't know. Ray J's got big dick. I'll tell you, I've seen that shit. Ray J's dick. That motherfucker, I was like, holy shit. <laughs> what, what? He remembered that very well. Huh? well. I love Kim Kardashian. I'm a big fan of Kim Kardashian. That's what made her big. Please, please tell us what other celebrities <laughs> rankings do you huh? when there's some, I, I'm not, Wait up, you're telling me when a celebrity gets a new You know, out, when I seen the Pamela, when I seen I was the like, Pamela, I Pamela, uh, Pamela Anderson and fucking Tommy Lee fucking uh, video, I wasn't like, wow, look at Tommy Lee's dick. I was just no, like, but you watch it. Pam's tits. No, but you watch it. Yeah, but I, just, I didn't, that wasn't yeah, like. Yeah, because he didn't have a big dick. That's why you didn't care. Bro, it's not that. It's just, <laughs> Wow. Wow. I love it. I love it. Wow. And there was a I whole bro it. job. Like, the video it. wasn't even great. You don't see Kim's pussy. You see it for, like, two seconds. It's a very bad video. Like, if it was I've a normal porno, if it was a normal porno, it. I would have thumbs downed it. But it was Kim Kardashian, so. You know what? There. You stay out Kim Kardashian's nuts. I love it. Yeah. I don't know why she's dating Pete What's Davidson, that? but he's 28 and skinny, so I think I have a chance. What's the next one, Kate? <laughs> he's funny. Is there... Yeah, I think it is El Norte hair over here. Yeah, fool. Oh, what do you mean did I you look die the oldest? No, oh, I, I was about to say. How do I look the oldest? He's bald. Yeah, but bald I, is I way just older look like than I used gray. to gang. I just look like I used to gangbang if I take my hat off. It's different with you, bro. If you look bald, you're just like, something's wrong yeah, with you. You look like I used to gangbang. You look like a bodyguard at some club. Yeah, bro. It's like it's, it's not a bad look. Like, have you seen him without a hat? No. Exactly. Never. Lost that shit. Gang banger, bro. Yeah. Like security. Yeah. Look at like, with, with the raider, with the raider gear too, ready to fucking stomp on some fool. <laughs> <laughs> like side dick Eddie. Oh shit, it's so funny. So, but yeah, this is. I'm like, yeah, you, you you would just like if you did it, it'd be like you have a Tommy Pickles head. It's all. Oh, I look like shape. a cancer patient if I was bald. <laughs> all skinny. They're like, when's your next chemo? When's your next chemo treatment? Yep. Uh, all right, is that the last one? All right, so I want to I want to thank everybody that tuned in. Uh, salute to everybody that tuned in. Uh, make sure uh, you guys hit that thumbs up if you're watching or listening afterwards. Thank you to our sponsor, California Magic Farms. Make sure you get some magic in your life and start growing or using these supplements uh, using special code word WDSTS. 
Also, make sure you guys go to the website, flavorsbyezone.com or highandhungry.shop. There's a lot of new stuff up there on the website, a lot of new beanies, a lot of uh, candles have been restocked. Get the Valentine's Day candle before it sells out. Don't fuck up because believe me, you don't want to look bad. It's right around the corner. Don't get caught up getting all the chips from the Super Bowl and not getting her a significant other something. You know what I mean? Even if it's a little something. But, yeah, make sure you guys check it out. Um, the, by the way, everybody's back to getting those special gifts in their order. So every order comes hooked up. This week it's some red line. Uh, also, um, make sure make sure you guys hit that subscribe. And if you're listening, like button. Like button. And we are working on the show for March. So make sure you guys uh, look out for that. Uh, we're going to hopefully we're aiming in Riverside, hopefully. And uh, I want to go ahead and thank our special guest for today. Salute to Encrypt coming through. What, what is it? Uh, and telling her story and just holding it down here with us because, you know, we're just, I mean, it, it's not your regular ass interview, huh? No, it's not. <laughs> She's like, no, it's not. You guys I was are... just kicking it. That's what we did right now. Yeah, yeah that's, that's exactly what we try to kind of go for. Where can they go ahead and check out your work and, you know. Find me anywhere. Google me, Encrypt. But can you can spell K? it out? Yeah, please. Yeah, I couldn't, K. yeah, I wanted to figure this out. E N K R Y P T, Los Angeles. Google me. You'll find all my shit. Everything's in Crypt Los Angeles. You need videos, photos. Fucking um, my clothing brand's about to launch. Shout out to Inscribe. That's my clothing brand. It's I N S K R Y B E, and we're dropping Brown Love soon. So this is the exclusive drop. No one has it yet. You sold out last time, right? Yeah, that was Brown Love Part One. This is Brown Love Part Two for Valentine's Day. Was good. Damn. I'm excited. It's great quality, bro. Dude, I didn't think about that. Some bitches are not gonna get nothing for Valentine's Day (laughs) if their man loses on the Super Bowl bet. Damn, or you that. might come in hot though. Your mind might be like, "Yo, bitch, I won. We gonna get steak and yeah, lobster." Man, everybody, everybody yeah, either you get either that. you get a McDonald's or steak and lobster. <laughs> I don't, don't know. But right? uh, hit that like button, subscribe. Uh, go get all your shit at flavors by com. All these dope candles we got here burning. I can still smell on me with this fire ass weed, so you gotta get them candles. Uh, oh, we got my, a vibe up in here, bro. You yeah. see the, the, the mm-hmm. candles over there? Yeah, shout out to Be Real for hooking this fucking studio yeah, up. Yeah, big thank you to Be Real, yeah. aka my dad, for hooking this place up. Uh, this uh, is dope. Yeah, this. I like th- it. We got we, a fridge we, here. We got our we, we got our own vibe yeah. over here, and uh, but don't worry about the Doctor Green Thumb show. It will be back on sooner than later. Believe me, uh, we're looking really good here, but the Dr. Green Thumb is going to look spectacular because that setup is on a whole nother level. Wild. It is like fucking movie production shit over there next door. And I like that we get, it's like we have the fucking, we, now we have the treehouse because look how smoked out it is. This is the, oh, we don't smoke like the same show. This is literally like a <laughs> Yeah, treehouse. bro. I like it. I like it. <clears throat> Kate. Um, okay. Shoot it. L- 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 uh, what is it? Say that one and then yell, <laughs> yell it out where people can find you at, right, Kate. <clears throat> Oh, when you stop arresting people like us, Bobo just <laughs> Bobo got in trouble in Texas. What is it? People out there get in trouble in Texas. Oh, he got in trouble. Trouble. I saw what happened, but he actually went down. It actually went down. Well, I mean, no, he, he just, that was a while ago, but you know, the last time it was out but there. But he actually yeah. got in trouble for like actually like. I don't think it was serious court. trouble. No, I don't think it was serious trouble, but yeah. Texas food sucks. Yeah, <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Maybe one day out there, whenever uh, I would decide to do more drinking than smoking. <laughs> All right, is that the last one? All right, Kate, shout outs. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Kate Hunnan. There you go. Yeah. Saul, Saul. Yeah, we, we do just, honestly, we were rushing to set it up, but yeah, we'll set it, we'll set you up next time. All right, so we'll see you guys tomorrow night, 7 to 9. We got Peace. somebody coming through, right, X? Yeah. We got the CEO of Virtue. Remember that thing that sent you all the ads? Okay, all right. Tomorrow, so they're a sponsor. We were supposed to do their ad read today, but like I said, we're running late, so we owe you guys one. If you guys are listening to this, but he'll be here tomorrow. Tell us how the company started. And I mean, we've been using your guys' ashtrays. He's gonna, so he's to gonna come through like Santa Claus. I mean, I don't know. Might he's gonna come through with a thousand sample because that's all they carry a lot of products. <laughs> <laughs> you got your you got your fucking packages already. You fuck. The fans got it from me. All right, now, <laughs> all right, but all right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see you guys tomorrow night. Peace.